Dave. Wow. We're going to talk about Dice in a second here, but we got Jim Jeffries back in studio. He's got a big run at Caroline's here in New York City. And uh, the first show went real well last night. It was it was a very good show, yeah. Very good, and uh, he'll he'll be there for the rest of the weekend. Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. Don't want to miss that. No, we played Dice Dice <laughs> Baby because uh, we learned <laughs> our old friend Andrew Dice Clay just got uh, married. He's hitched. He's yes. hitched again. Yes. Glutton for fun. And he went on George Lopez to tell the world he's uh, a married man. No. Ooh, he's, he's doing Vegas at the moment, isn't he? Or is he in Vegas? There's heaps of billboards he was. for him. Yeah, he's, 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 doing, he's doing the Hilton, yeah. Oh, Kenny. Takes yeah, Kenny, on. he's doing the Hilton? He, he still knows. Yeah. He just got a long-term deal at the Hilton. Oh. Long-term deal at the Hilton for Andrew Dice Clay. So wow. Things are, things are uh, looking up for Dice. We used to, I used to do that hotel with him. Uh, it was the Elvis Hilton. It was the same way Elvis used to walk down. It was actually pretty cool. To go to walk down that that corridor where Presley used to go. Oh, he right. still does. He's alive. It's going to be an extra. It's going to be an extra in Dice's show. I think I found Elvis's hat. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one found it. <laughs> but uh, uh, Dice is going to be on the show next week. I think. I think uh, next Ooh. week he'll be here for a day. Hopefully just a day. <laughs> oh, my God, I know. <laughs> Hopefully just a day. Dice in small doses. That's how you need them. And by the way, that doesn't come from me. Ant started that one. <laughs> Ant's, Ant hopes for a day. Just a day? Yes. Because when he goes, I'll be in tomorrow. <laughs> right. You're like, oh, no. <laughs> and that's two shows in a row that we can't get a word in. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much turns into the Dice show. <laughs> dice <Okay>. show. <laughs> I thought I was listening to Hopi and Anthony. They, they, they must be on vacation. Yeah. Uh, so he went on Lopez yesterday, and uh, I hear his I hear his new woman's very lovely. She is. Last time he sexy. came in, he had to brag and show us all pictures of her and stuff. Yeah, so, very, uh, very, very. We had uh, uh, Passover dinner with him and his wife. Boy, and we hung out with her. She's very, she's very, uh, very pretty. A nice, nice girl too. What's Passover? Jewish holiday. I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly. It's what... a Jew holiday. I don't know what it means, but he's from Brooklyn. It was and he's back when, when the uh, I thought he was Jewish. Is he Jewish? No, yeah. the the, the yeah, pharaohs wanted the dead, uh, the uh, firstborn dead, so they put the blood on the door, so the evil spirit <laughs> passed over you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Stephen S. for Bayshore writes, Did Jeffries find out any more lunatic info about Elvis being alive? <laughs> lunatic no, info. Not, you guys, I, I can show you more evidence, but you're not going to believe me. If that pool house picture isn't enough for you, then I don't know what to say. <laughs> if it isn't enough for you. Yeah, we debunked like it, a, though. Like he's I saying, think Danny came up with it. it it's obviously a reflection no, of a... Uh, Jim is saying, look... If you ain't buying that fucking picture, then fuck is all. Because that is definitive evidence. Like Elvis would dress like that and I look know. out his pool house door. Right. He'd have a wacky fake uh, beard on or there's something. There's easier ways to kind of take a peek. What he did was after he died, he grew a beard, lost some weight, and he let, hanged out in Germany for a while and hid out there for about two oh, years. Oh, he went to Germany, too? So? Because he, well, he knew Germany. That was the only country that he ever traveled outside of America. Wow. Wait a minute, that's dice. <laughs> hey, I'm in the pool house. Pool house. <laughs> I was changing, and then I need some swimmies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got silly very intimidated when I met Dice Clay. Terrible. What? I was quite nervous when I met Dice Clay. He was one of his ones. He's that, an intimidating guy when you first meet him. Yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, I sort of liked Dice Clay. You know, oh, yeah. it was like like the cassettes I used to get in Australia yep. of Dice Clay. And I, I did Down and Dirty like Norton Show, and I, I met him. And I oh, was that like, was one Andrew was on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I met him, and I was like, "Wow, I got really nervous." He was a nice enough bloke. You know? Yeah, yeah. Comes yeah, over though, but he's always like, "So you're, with uh, you. you're a British guy, Australian via Br I, what, what is that? Yeah, where? What are you from? Mm. Where? Where you were one of those fed countries? When we filmed that show, because because uh, Lemmy was there, right? Mm. I was like, I I was like, I actually saw Lemmy, and I was like, "Oh fuck." Lemmy. Oh, you like Lemmy? Yeah, love it, oh, love yeah. it, right? And he just looked like Lemmy should look. Oh, he had the exactly. The, yeah, it yeah. Just looked, it, he was perfect, right? And so I see him in the sandbox, and, and, and one of the producers goes, "Well, Jim, do you want to do you want to meet uh, do you want to meet Lemmy?" And I was like, "Yeah, fuck, I want to meet Lemmy, right?" <laughs> and so, uh, so I, I go up to him, and uh, you know when you want someone to like you, so you just <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you just like just a, like a, just a <laughs> sick of fire. Oh, like I really want you to like me. 
and they go, uh, they go, this is Jim Jeffries, he's a comic from Britain, da, da, da. they go, uh, oh, you may have seen him on the internet, he got punched in the head on stage, is how the guy introduced me. <laughs> and then Lemmy was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. He goes, you, you should have shot him. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was like the worst joke, and I was like, oh, 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 oh good one, Lemmy. Oh, oh, oh. And I just felt dirty afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you were servicing him. Yeah, I was just, you were definitely uh, blowing him yeah, stop with it, your laughter. You're killing me. You're killing me. <laughs> that's that's uh, uh, that's great. But, uh, yeah, let me. But fucking... he, he did he did give me a Jack and Coke in his dressing because there's no alcohol in any of the dressing rooms. Why? Uh, uh, yeah. Hmm? Why? They weren't giving us any alcohol. He had he, he let me dress room. He wants Jack and Coke and he yeah. wants fucking sour cream and onion potato chips and like he is the worst. <laughs> eating habits. It's really funny what he wants in his dressing room. It's nothing fancy. I was hammered uh, that trip we did out to L.A. Uh, for the poker thing, and and uh, the second day for like when Lemmy came on an and straight, yeah. just pouring Jack and Cokes and drinking them, because you know something, if you get the opportunity to drink with Lemmy, you do it mm. just so you got the story. And he's just, you know, rah, 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 telling his stories and shit like that. And I'm like, holy shit, trying to keep up with Lemmy? Forget yeah. it. He drinks a lot in the morning? Stop it. He would drink. I've right there, never seen him no, not drinking. I, he drank. I have never seen Lemmy not drinking. He drank a yeah. lot in that hour. I think he's he drinking. He, good, he, went, through, he yeah, went through most he of a bottle like in an hour, man. It was unbelievable. Well, Ann helped him out, I guess, but I mean, it was yeah, a little bit. It was, it was, it was <laughs> no, he outdrank you, though, Ann. Lemmy likes the Lemmy likes Nazi stuff too. Lemmy is really into Nazi didn't memorabilia. They, didn't they find though when Michael Jackson died that he had a bit of a Nazi memorabilia stuff? Did he like, really? He liked military outfits, didn't he, Michael Jackson? Well, yeah. Oh well, you, when you see him on stage, uh, when you saw him on stage, yeah, he kind of did have like this pseudo kind of military yeah. fruit look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he allegedly they 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 when they went through Netherlands, they found like a whole lot of Nazi stuff. Like just <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is he doing? Yeah, Lemmy's wearing an iron cross and shit. Yeah. He wears the helmets with the little spiky things with on the them. spike on top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was one of the worst designed outfits ever. <laughs> what the fuck is do, that? Do you know in sign language, because sign language is different in different places, but for German, sign language is that. Really? You, like put, your you put your finger up, up, up like that. It's so, a little Kaiser yeah, helmet? Yeah, so it's a little the spiked helmet to make German. And Jew, depending on where you are, is either that. For in, a beard. In some places it's... It's for the payers. <laughs> you do a little yeah. curls curly, by your ears. Curly curly curls, curls. Yeah. yeah, that that yeah. spike thing. Uh, apparently, that was supposed to be a weapon. Like, was that supposed to be a charging with your head weapon in, in World War One? Because they lost that by World War Two. Yeah, there's got to be some guy who put it next to his bed and rolled out of bed and died, and they just went, nah, you can't. Yeah, you can't do this that anymore. Is not a, this is a stupid fucking Or habit. like, instead of taking, like, I've seen some of those hand-to-hand -hand combat things in, in movies and stuff where they take the helmet off and just beat the fuck out of the guy. <laughs> if you took it off and there's a spike on it, it's you, a could, weapon. you could do some Might damage. as well, yeah, have more weapons on you, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah but you, sure. what if you're hiding from other soldiers? You don't want a fucking spike sticking out over the hedges. You want to be all tucked in. Yeah, yeah. Well, they you, you, kinda... want to, you want your outfit to be a bit more discreet. Yeah. Well, that's probably why they discontinued it. <laughs> they stopped it. Uh, apparently, uh, Steve from Bayshore was saying that in the late 1800s, American helmets had a uh, a spike on it. I don't remember that. But look, American Army from Bay Show would know absolutely what the spike but, was, what it was but for. But American armies had their own issues. I mean, the Revolutionary War, we had a band. That yeah, you always had the fucking had to have the the guy with the drum and the fight. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, it's yeah. Like yeah. that was you just, know, Could that guy pick up a fucking gun? Pull please? the baton twirling and all that type. Yeah, the flag was guy. Weird. Who, who, like, who the fuck uh, thought that was a good idea? If the flag guy went down, another guy had to pick the fucking flag up, and now that's one less guy that's. That's actually two less guys that can right. shoot. Yeah. Here's a quick quiz question. Who designed the, the Nazi outfits? Oh, I've heard about this. Is that true, though? Is that, or is that no, no, a rumor? No, no, it's true. That's true. A, a famous designer, yeah. Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss designed all the Nazi outfits. Really? That's yeah. why they look so fucking good. They look good. fucking good, look man. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, wear... you look at all the others. Those fucking Nazis were sharp. If like, I could can... find a fucking jacket like that, a fucking long leather Nazi fucking SS jacket, yeah. Gestapo jacket. I would buy one in a second. Mm -hmm. A remake, anything, because those are the coolest looking fucking jackets. And then the boots, the fucking, 
like anything. They had the shit as far as clothes went. <laughs> it's also it's also like like Hitler approved the uh, Volkswagen Beetle design. Yeah, yeah. And he kept on going more headroom. We want more headroom. Because <laughs> he, he, he didn't like being enclosed in the cars. He went, I want a car with heaps of headroom. And then, <laughs> it's the big and, but bubble the thing car. Is now that that car's like synonymous with hippies. And yeah, love yeah. and peace and flower people. <laughs> it's back in the Hitler car. Hitler it's the Hitler car. I don't what, care what you say. Was he uh, claustrophobic? I don't know about it. I didn't know him that well. I, I think know. he was a little <laughs> fucked up in every I sense of the word. Uh, he probably had issues. some of that in it. Yeah. I imagine that was one of them. <laughs> All right, let's get into this Dice thing. So Dice was on George Lopez doing the, um, the marriage announcement for everybody. Yeah. Yes. So let me say congratulations because on Valentine's Day you got married. Yes, Dice got married. <laughs> Better than that, she's a Latina. She is, a, you know what? Better than that. She is a Latina. Come on, George. Let me tell you, you don't, you don't marry a Latina girl. You know all the room, all that the hottest thing in the world. Yes. You don't marry a Latina girl on the most romantic day of the year <laughs> and think you're not going to be working that night. <laughs> You know what I mean? Now I know what it's like to try to put out a brush fire, if you know what I mean. It's still smoking, I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually went to the doctor over it. You know, he said it's just a head wound. Am I allowed to say that? Yes, yes, you know yes. I mean? no, but, but she's she's considerably younger. Can I say that? Yes, she is. And that's, you know, <laughs> that's where Viagra comes in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> El Succo my Caco <laughs> Iggy <laughs> oh, we're, gonna have a, we're gonna have fun with dice next week. Oh. She's a Latina. Maybe it isn't yeah, I think it is next week. I think it's next Thursday. Tenth, I thought it was Latino. Tenth? I, I think it's Latino. Latino. Not, I've never heard Latino. Latino. Not a girl. Yes. They're called Latina. I didn't know Are that. they? And the guys know that are either. called Fagatitos. <laughs> or <laughs> something. It's like male and female. Yeah, I, I remember that from my Which is Spanish so stupid. teachings. But. I hate languages that have a male and a female word. Shut up. Yeah, yeah just yeah, call yeah. it a mouth. <laughs> it makes no sense. Oh, you didn't use the feminine phrasing for that. Go fuck yourself. You're lucky I knew the word. Never mind the feminine phrasing and yeah, yeah, yeah. this shit. Well, I always find it funny whenever you learn a language, the, the first thing a fucking language teacher will always teach you how to go, my name is Jim Jeffries. Yeah. So, Ian McYamo, Jim Jeffries, or whatever the thing is. The yeah. Italian for my no one in English ever walks up to someone and says, my name, my name is, is such and such. You just say, if it, someone goes, what's your name? You go, Jim Jeffries. You don't go, my name is. That's, I, you know what else really sucks? I wasted a week on that. Well, about every, you, other, yeah, they, about they, every other language except for English. They teach you the shitty version of, uh, the, the, of Spanish. Do they? Yeah, they don't teach you the right way to the, speak the damn the language. English rules, and I will tell you why. You could take a phrase in English like, wow, that is a beautiful car. I mm. bet it goes really fast. Yeah. And in any other language, it's pretty car fast. <laughs> like, there doesn't seem to be details in any other language. <laughs> but for their they, language, like, it makes could, complete sense. Yeah, it makes so. sense, but how about some fucking details? <laughs> like, you can't really elaborate as much as you can with English in other languages. They just seem to get the fucking shit out there. I would said, pretty, uh, pretty woman hair. Good. <laughs> well, what the I fuck don't is know that? if that's really true. No, it is. I, 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 think, it's it's just it. I think the Italians have a word. No. They're very romantic. You bunch. look at you look at you fucking translate English into some other language and and or, or translate take another language and take a phrase and translate it into English and it's so fucking basic in the other language. Yeah. Like, 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 write out a phrase about something in English that is detailed and, and nice, and you'll get some kind of half-assed fucking, like, no detail, no fucking uh, Bella. Uh, Bella. Ah, uh, Bella. Bella. I don't think you're... Pretty, thin. pretty. No, Bella, I don't think Bella your theory has legs. Yeah, that's good. You, you yeah. translate an opera into English, like an Italian or a German opera, and the, the lyrics are beautiful. Ah, They're not beautiful. Yeah, yeah, that's what they added in, the good opera? shit that English yeah. puts in. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It's your, your traitor to your language? What are you doing? What's wrong? You guys you? invented this I, I shit. Studied, I studied classical music at university. You really go to operas? I, I, I've been to a few operas in my Which, day, yeah. which one was your favorite? Um, I've been to La Boheme. I, I like the Mozart operas. You know, the Magic Flute. 
Don Giovanni. <laughs> magic. Do they sing the magic those? flute. <laughs> you suck on my magic flute. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like Wagner and stuff. It's too fucking. Do you heavy. know how to play shit? I, I can do the little... I'm not getting into this, man. <laughs> yeah, you are. I, 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 <laughs> what do you play? I got a... I got you play the saxophone. Google it. Google it. What do you play? Come on, what do you play? <laughs> do you play the lute? I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. A piano player. French horn. Don't say the French horn. When I was... When I was, when I was uh, eight, 17 to 19, I was, I was in three professional operas. There you go. <laughs> Were you? Are, you? are you a vocalist? I was a singer. I was a, uh, for the Australian Opera. I was I was in the opera house in Sydney. Wow. You really were. I really was. That yeah. big fucking opera house in Sydney. The, the one that looks like a lot of nuns yeah. in a scrum. Yeah. Can you that get, was you. Can you give us a taste? <laughs> no. In there? See, this, this is you the, have to give us a taste. You'll never believe. You have to give us a taste. This is why I never bring this up. You'll never believe me. What happened was I got I got nodules in my vocal cords through just, you know smoking and drinking and all and too singing too much, right? And that's basically calluses on your vocal right. cords. So I had that <laughs> surgery on my throat. And I couldn't talk for like fucking two months. Like Jeez. I just sat there with my mum yelling at me, going, "You've wasted your talent. <laughs> you've got nothing. Now you've got nothing." <laughs> you just sat there in the house, just, just, just rocking backwards and forwards. <laughs> like, oh shit! You can't even <laughs> fight back. Yeah, and uh, and I, I um I, I watched a lot of stand up comedy TV down like videos in that time, and and plotted my revenge on society. You know, that's, that's yeah, the, yeah. Wait, so you so you're singing again? No, I can't sing again. No, I so, can never sing so, again. So wait, wait, wait. So your mom? I think, I think it's even on Wikipedia or something that I used to be. Wait, Jim, Jim, really. Jim, Jim. So yeah. your your mom really thought you like really had something with this? Oh, I did have something. I got. I Holy got, uh, shit! I got, uh, I got. My best friend in Australia is an opera singer. That's that's my that that's weird. my best mate. I would yeah. never guess this one. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's uh, a guy called Andrew Moran. He's really good opera baritone. So can we hear a little bit, even though you can't hit the notes no, like I'm you not, used to? I'm not Why? Wait, who, you know who else is <laughs> an opera singer? Mike Rowe. Mike Rowe did it for us a little bit. Mike Rowe was a, was a bona fide opera singer. He yeah, fucking Mike, felt it out like he a, really a, did. a moment of it. I'm, I'm not. No, I really. I like can't. how Jimmy goes. Mike Rowe did it for us. Like, I, like <laughs> well, meaning that and in that guilt thing. Like, come on. I, I I haven't sung. I literally haven't sung in in ten years. Really, um, but I, well, you know, it was, it was alright. I was in. Um, Do you miss it? No, nah, I miss singing. I miss being able to sing. You don't it's, sing it's, in the car when you're alone. I sing something. in the car. Yeah, yeah, I don't sing in the shower. Can you sing karaoke? I can sing karaoke. Oh, yeah, yeah wow. I can do it. I can I could never do opera again. What karaoke do you like to sing? I haven't done karaoke for years either, but um. I like doing Elvis or something. Can okay, you do it, Elvis? Oh, Elvis? What are you doing with Elvis? <laughs> I love Elvis, man. <laughs> of course you love Elvis. <laughs> it's all starting to make sense. Now. All right, well, let's hear some Elvis. I want to hear a no, little I'm bit. Not, I'm not singing for you. <laughs> it's just not happening. I didn't want to bring this up. <laughs> you know what it's happened? Was, doing the I, dance. Showed, I, showed, I showed a little bit of knowledge on a subject yes. you didn't think I would know about, and now, because I'm slightly more cultured than you think I am, you're treating me like I'm a fag. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Just snorted, man. It's, Come it's, on. It's not Jimmy like, wants to hear a little bit. I did. Uh, I Jimmy, did, you want to hear some Yeah, but not like, I, I don't want to. I was in The Flying Dutchman by Wagner, and I was in Charles Guneau's The Magic. Oh, not The Magic. Charles Guneau's Romeo and Juliet, which was in French. And that was. that was speak French? Um. No, no. I, this is how I would learn songs, right? They would they would give me the stuff in French. I'd go off to a library, get like an old recording of it, and just just mimic what they're doing. Just, I didn't know what I was singing about. I'd go, "What's this about? Is it love, hate? What Holy am I doing?" Holy shit! Wow. Really? Wow. <laughs> That's just, a talent, though, man. Yeah, and some, just, some like Japanese bands do that too. Yeah, they wow. they sing in English, yeah. and they have no idea what they're saying. It's and it's hysterical to listen to them because they kind of fuck the words up a little bit. There's a there, there's a there's a Japanese Beatles tribute band in Tokyo. <laughs> Tokyo, oh, right? Which I went along and saw, and uh, they perform every night, and they're huge. Like it's always packed out every night, and they're really good. But yeah. the weird thing is, the guy who plays John Lennon, John Lennon, <laughs> <laughs> spitting image of Yoko Ono. <laughs> <laughs> like if you can, got it all wrong. If you can get a copy of this guy, oh shit. John Lennon, <laughs> rough, rough me. We can do it all day. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> when did you start with this talent as a real I young youngster? Sixteen. I was right. putting yeah, sixteen. Right. I was I was in a, I was in a couple of school musicals and uh, 
and I, I, I got uh, I got a scholarship as a young artist. God yeah. damn! Look at you. Yeah, I, I, it was all accidental. I so that's fucking... why your mom fucking hates you. Yeah, she hates me. You were me. supposed to be an opera singer. I was man. supposed to be an opera singer. Oh, she was very man. proud. And because, now, and now she I'm doesn't cunt really. Boy. I, like, yeah, I probably, you're fucking I probably Mr. said cunt funny, more than any other comic man. on the planet. Because you brought up your mom a lot, where she's like, yeah, 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 not. I mean, she's proud of you, I'm sure, but she's not thrilled with your career as much as you probably would like. Dude, you no. went from like the most yeah. respectable. Now it all like, makes a sense. Parent, a We're, parent would look at an opera singer as, as a child. I, 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 like, I, oh. I never did comedy in front of my mom or anything. And, and the thing is, my mother was always, um, she was always. Uh, like, I, my dad comes along and sees it and he enjoys it and that type of stuff. So I came back, I had the only DVD of the HBO special. I came back to Australia and I, I said to my mum, I said, just, just watch it. Like, you know, I just, basically just going, love me, please, love oh, me. Yeah. Right? And I put it on the DVD player and my parents were watching it and the, they were, my mum was laughing and I was like, fuck, this oh. is good, man. I felt really good about myself. And then my brain went, Oh, the Gunter joke is coming up, right? And I sat there. Now, if you don't know the Gunter joke, it's basically a joke where I say over and over again that my mum's a fat bitch. If you've ever sat next to your mother while she's watching her younger son saying she's a fat bitch on TV, <laughs> you just uh. sit there awkwardly going, <laughs> What'd she do? She, um, she did what all mums do. She, you know, like, your parents want to believe that you're a good person. That's just what parents want to believe. Mm. It's that whole thing, if... if if your mother finds, like, drugs in your bedroom, you can always do that live, I'm holding them for a friend. And your mum will believe you, yeah. but you have to be willing to lose a friend. You have to, you have to, you have to have one. she wants a name. She yeah, wants a name. You, you have to have one guy yeah, that you're going to have to cut free. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but she, uh, she did that thing where I'm, so I'm on stage selling, she's fat and call her a good and she goes, I don't know how you come up with these things. <laughs> oh, you have quite the imagination. <laughs> And oh, my, that's my nice. dad was like, oh, they still call you Gunter Woman. And you were, Gunter Woman. <laughs> and you were supposed to be an opera singer. Yeah. yeah. That's unbelievable. I want to hear I, a little Elvis. No, I, yeah, we no, need no, a little I'm not Elvis. singing. I'm no, not, no, you know, we're about to play dice singing, singing, fucking Elvis. Dice I, singing, Elvis. I, 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 it's early in the morning. I got drunk last night. Do a little in, in the ghetto. I know he's not. In the ghetto. See? You have a voice. It's obvious you could do. You sound like Elvis when you sing. No, I don't do impersonations. What if we get Steve to do his? Will you do yours? No. I'm not going to sing for you. Just <laughs> Steve, go, Steve goes, sing a little Elvis, fucko. <laughs> fucko. <laughs> I'm not, not going to tell you people anything anymore. Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, for his you, breakfast. You, you use things against me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I completely understand. I'm on it, your it, side. You know, if I tell you to be a porn star, would you get me a chick to fuck in front yeah. of you? No, yeah, well, yes. Why yeah. not? Even if you weren't. Get yeah. Bobo in here to blow you. Yeah. Oh, Bobo, is he here yet? But, uh, oh, please, no. He's te only 10% gay, though. I tell you what, no, I'm I'm right my, with my, you. My, my friend who is an opera singer, I went back to Australia, I went to the opera house to, uh, to, to watch him sing, right? And he's like, he's really popular now. And afterwards, they had a little after show party. And there's just old women in shawls, just fucking oh. like all over him, fawning, want to have him pictures. You're and always I, getting and, some nice trim. Yeah, and I thought to myself, I think I chose the right job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a kind of a job. You can't go out or anything. Like, Why? You've got to take care of your you've voice. You've got to take care of your voice. You can't like yell at a sporting yeah. game or something like that. You can't drink. You can't, you know what I mean? It's a really, it's a really difficult What do you job. have to do to maintain your voice? Just a lot of... Uh, Apparently he doesn't know. He <laughs> yeah, fucked it up. What have you heard? <laughs> what do the successful people do? <laughs> yeah. it, it's warm-ups and all that type of stuff is really important. And there's... Uh, they are important. They help you. Yeah. What's a warm-up? It's the, like the in vocal... The, in the old days, like uh, Caruso and all that type of stuff the the sopranos they used to uh a fucking cup of jizz before they went on stage <laughs> what that's, holy that's, shit no. No, i'm not kidding google it the, the, the google, 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 google. <laughs> wouldn't that make your voice go like does it burn? Does it? <laughs> oh my god! God damn, Jimmy! But they reckon they reckon <laughs> it, it, it lubricates the cords, doesn't ah. it? If you've ever had like We're a throat Googling operation, it. yeah. it's a kind of a thing. They shove a they shove a camera up your nose, mm -hmm. right, and down through your windpipe to look at your vocal cords, and then you're watching it on a big TV screen. Yeah, that's one of the most <sighs> horrible things you'll ever have done. Ah. It's, it's intrusive. How long did it take to get the nodes off? Oh, well, it, it took months to heal, but to take them off was just, you know, Who gave an, you the hour, an hour surgery. Who gave you the news you weren't going to be an opera singer? Um, a doctor. 
And your mom probably just broke down and cried. Days over. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, no. You fucked up. I was kind of relieved. I was done with it, really. I wasn't making a good living really living out of it. I was only working as obviously a couple of months out of the year. Yeah. Having to do singing lessons every fucking week. I never liked it, even as a kid. I just, what I was just doing a school musical, and then the teachers were like, oh, you can sing, and everyone sort of pushed me into it, and I just wanted to be a fucking... Were you able to hit those real, like, high hold'em notes this, this, that this is why, this is why I, I got a gig, right? Because I was, uh, I'm six foot and uh, I was a tenor, and most tenors are, are short, dumpy little fuckers, yeah, right? Yeah. But all the romantic lead roles are always tenors. So you've always got this big fat bitch soprano, <laughs> and then this little tiny short guy, and oh. that's like, it just doesn't look right. And, and in, in opera, they don't really cast for looks, they just whoever can sing. Um, and, and so they, they thought, I oh, six foot tall. Tanner, that'll be. That'll Did you be take useful. the lead? Were you the lead in any of them? No, 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 no. I was too, too young for that. Did you ever have to uh, kiss uh, one of the soprano girls? Only in acting class or something like that. It's very yeah. incestuous. What the, the jizz world. tastes like, you they're, fucking they're, homo. He <laughs> 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 said you up, you dummy. <laughs> Why do you answer that? I didn't want you the answer. Know, you know what I like about that? You probably had that planned a lot. Of course he did. Kind of 20 minutes ago. That. I was wondering. <laughs> Why not? Is that, uh, really? <laughs> what were we saying about opera? Everyone's sleeping with each it's other. Everyone's fucking each other, man. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's like they're not. You think of them, they're, they're going to be really like polite, sort of, you know, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, but they're refined. All, they're all shagging each other. Yeah. Wow. It really? Oh no, it's like a rock fucking. Yeah, like a rock tour going on. It's, it's like a fucking drama that place, you know. It's like, yeah. yeah, but it was interesting that that opera house and everything. It's like you know, world famous, isn't it? How big yeah. is it? It's, the problem is, it looks it. it looks really good from the outside. Right, but because of the design outside, it's a bit shit inside, you know. Because it's you all like pointy like, like that. Yeah, yeah. It's like all the rows taper in until there's one bloke in the back row just <laughs> <laughs> in the point. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're seeing in that the, in the point. But it's That's like, like a landmark. Architecturally, it's a fucking marvel that thing. What is it supposed to look like? Billowing sails or something? Um. We, the Sydney Opera in, House. In Australia, yeah. we call it uh, nuns in a scrum, like in a rugby league scrum. <laughs> nuns in a scrum. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's How many good seats? <laughs> um, well, see, it depends. See, it depends. Uh, these, these are all separate little rooms. There's like a little tiny... Like, if you want to go to stand up there, there's a little room, that, like a 250-seater, where, oh. where, where touring acts, like American acts and stuff, always so they always go, I played the Opera House, but you're only playing this little wing Small at the back. Small room. And then, like, there's the concert hall stuff, and then there's the opera rooms, another smaller one there, and... Wow, oh, they're all different rooms. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Huh. So it's, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> the talking architecture on the open yeah, air. Yeah, so. we'll go anywhere, man. Famous buildings from hey, around man, the world. we've seen the building. Yes. I never saw Our it. Entire I thought, lives. You've never knows. seen a picture of that. Never. I Are you out of your mind? Never saw the city. I'd heard of it, but I thought it was like an older building. I, I had no idea it looked like that. It oh, is an older shown building. That picture it's of things been around for a while. Looks like uh, something's gonna be sailing away. And be careful, it doesn't get blown to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. The guy who designed it was like uh, a Danish bloke, right? And. Uh, and then they, they started, like, the government started going, no, nah, we want it different on the inside. And he fucking lost his rag and just went, oh, you can go get fucked then. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? But most of, most of it was already built, right? He fucked back off to Denmark or whatever. And, and he's never seen it since. Really? He's never just, come back to have a look at it or anything? Just fuck it, it's there. Yeah, you can get fucked. And he's like a hundred years old now, and, st and he's still bitter about he's it. He's still all pissed about <laughs> it. <laughs> How old's the building? I don't know, it's probably fucking, I, I, I wouldn't know how old it is, it's probably 80 years old, I guess. Wow. Maybe. Really? Maybe. I don't know, I might, I might be completely wrong, it's it might have been built in the bloody, well, it's probably built in the 50s. Well, we're not going to get Jim to sing Elvis, but we do have dice on George Lopez, so that's what this led to. Yeah. So, here we go. But she is the sweetest, most lovable, well, happy no girl I've ever been with, and I plan on keeping her that way. You know what? I love and, that. And, you know, I don't know, you know, I know we're both doing the Hilton Hotel. Yes. I, I just signed a long-term deal with Congratulations them. Congratulations on that. Thank you signed you. a long-term deal with the Las Vegas Hilton. Uh, and George, George is going to be there this weekend, too. He's going to be in the Elvis showroom. Yes. And since it's that kind of thing, I'm going to do a little something special. Beautiful. Let me feel it. It's for you, baby. Take it off, fellas. Take care. God bless. Okay. I'll go home and get your fucking shine box. Okay, fuck it. What's next? <laughs> hey, I just wanna, I just wanna say. We're cakes for nothing.
right, Jim. We're doing a little thing. Here. <laughs> Hold on. Give us a moment. <laughs> give us a moment. We're doing a little thing. <laughs> he does these impersonations. I swear, you would think it was the real people. <laughs> Uh, what's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? I hate you. Uh, I was only joking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm funny. <laughs> it wasn't that bad in person. No, it was all right. no. Hold on. He has a really good office. Yeah, he, yeah, hold on. Yeah, it's hold on one second. Yeah. Hold that one. Oh, yeah. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on one second. What happened? <laughs> what do you do for a living, character? <laughs> Ca character? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. He's done that on our show. Yeah. Do we have uh, the Elvis he did on our show? Uh, hey, your ass. Your ass. <laughs> hey, your ass. And I'm just speaking in Spanish. I gotta learn, uh, you know. I gotta be multilingual. <laughs> hey, uh, la plume is on the table, or something, or something like that. Uh you got the Elvis. This, this is what Dice did for us. Opie and Anthony, busy show. We got Jim oh. Jeffries in studio playing Carolines this weekend. Two and two. Yeah. Seven five seven forty one hundred. And we invited uh, Colin Kane to join the program, who's working with uh, Jim Jeffries this weekend. Very funny comic, Ooh. man. Colin's really funny. And uh, he's always at uh, Caroline's. Oh, you guys don't get along? No, we get along. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just gave a look yeah, like, you you just gave a look like hey, this isn't a good idea. What are you doing here? He's right. Like, oh, yeah. oh. I was waiting for him to fucking talk. You're you just looked at me like I sat next to you on the bus. Like, oh, dude. <laughs> no, I, I yeah. wanted to say hello, but there's a microphone in front. We get along. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I was, you I, I you gave a look like, man, I, I, I should no, have told you something I, before you decided to do this. I like Colin. I think he's too good looking to be a comedian. He's one of those fuckers. You just like, how did you develop being funny? You're probably popular and people liked you. Ugh. I don't know how people do it. It's like one or the other, right? Yeah, you got to be Stop ugly, it. right, to be a comic. Yeah. you got to have yeah. something wrong with you, though. It could, it could be in just good-looking comics. It could be internal, his problems. I do, yeah. You, you just nailed it. I do, yeah. yeah. Sure. It's internal. It's yeah. a little, you know, because people, they look at you and they think you have it easier, but it's, it's the same for everyone else out there. Yeah, if, you, if you've seen his comedy, he's got issues, man, obviously. There's times he wants to take on the whole crowd. I'm like, dude, chill, man. Chill. Yeah. Holy shit. But you know when he's going to strangle someone tonight. You know when you meet a good-looking girl and, like, she'll do this type of thing? She'll be, like, at a party going, it's really hard because sometimes people don't see me. <laughs> people, just, yeah. people just see the way that I look, and it's like, I wish I could scar your face up. Yeah. Uh, so, we, yeah. so we could... So the everyone, only way to so everyone can <laughs> see the real <laughs> you. Shut up! All that horse shit. Uh, yeah, you want a yeah. boric acid right in the face. Yeah. 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 Teach you a thing or two about matters. Uh, <laughs> I love it when good-looking women lose their looks. Oh, yeah. it's, it's that tragic yeah. just... You, and you, see, you see it in Hollywood... Every day, you, ah, you, you go to you go to an audition, and there's like uh, they're all holding their photos, waiting to go into the audition. And then there's the girls who have just gotten to Hollywood. And he goes, "I was the prom queen in Oklahoma, and I, I I'm gonna do some acting, right?" And then you got like that woman who's like 30, but she's still trying to get the 22 year old role, mm. and she's just priming her face and putting makeup on, and she's just a bag of <laughs> shit, but, like she's just a mess, a bag and, of and, shit, and everything everything's gone to shit in her life. She never got as famous as she wanted to, and I just love you love that. I love <laughs> Because I've still got stand-up comedy. All you've got is acting, you useless bit of skin. Because during the, during the, uh, the glory years of their uh, life there early on, they've depended on their looks and got along with just their looks. And yeah, yeah. then it goes to shit, and now what? Exactly. Now what? This is what I love about Facebook as well, is because I don't date anyone my age. That would be disgusting, hmm. right? Like, you know, you know <laughs> that would, wouldn't that be disgusting to go out with someone as old as you? <laughs> How old are you? I'm 33, but no, it's, it's just <laughs> disgusting. And and so I try to date girls that are about 25-ish, like that, right? And I, that's why I love Facebook, because I look at all these pictures of girls that I went to school with who I haven't seen since school, and I'm like, look at you, you old pig. Look at how it's all gone to rubbish. I'm still young. I'm a man. <laughs> it, it is a horrible double standard, but you know. Yeah. So, Colin, hold on, Colin. You get yeah. probably tired of people. He's a handsome dude, but he's a funny dude, too. So Thanks, you probably man. get tired of people... 
not Jim because he's a comic friend of yours, but like when people judge you, like, like oh, this guy's uh, good looking. What does he have to feel a certain way about? You're probably like, yeah, I'm the same fucking dude as everybody else. I still, you know, lose my erections or fucking <laughs> get shot down or have mother issues or whatever the fuck else makes you you. Yeah, same same exact stuff going on. Uh, it's just you know, what's your what's your big issue? Big issue, anger. Definitely yeah, anger. I, yeah. Just, just a disdain yeah. towards people. Like, <laughs> yeah. Fucking hate Where does people. that come from? If, if you say I, know, one, I, had, I had a great upbringing, too. I don't nice know. parents? Oh, great. Great. Just the nicest upbringing. Just, you know, certain people. Just Didn't you, like, uh, go after a blind woman once at a show oh, or something? Oh, dude. I didn't go after her. I was doing the show, and I was killing. I was doing really well, and she wouldn't look at me. You know that show? Just right in the front row, she wouldn't look yeah. at me at all. And I'm like, don't dress it. Just keep going. Pay attention, you know? And then finally, I'm just looked at. Her, I'm like, you know, why aren't you looking at me? Just look at me. And then I looked underneath her chair, and her stick was folded up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm. She shouldn't have been sitting in the front row. She didn't know he was talking to her. Yeah, she she, she should have been awkward. sitting at the fucking back if she's blind. I didn't know she was blind. Apparently, the whole room did. I showed up late, so it was yeah. just one of those, I pretended I was the, like, the comic before me, and I just kept on going. So it was one of those. Things. You didn't address it. I did. I said I was the comic before me. Still. Oh, that's funny. I said my name is like Charles Simmons. I'm not, I'm not getting on stage. Yeah. Wait, wait, the, the crowd should have laughed. That's a very funny moment. Yeah, oh, yeah, the, okay. yeah. The comics loved it. It was just one of those things where I had to address it. I can't just not say anything. And her friends yeah. have a sense of humor by putting her in the front row. Sure yeah. they do. Her that that's, a, stick. that's a bad spot for anyone. Mm. But imagine if you're blind. What, what are they doing oh. to her? They should have faced her the wrong way. If they were any real friends, yeah. they would have fucking turned their chair towards the I was, back. I was doing a gig in San Francisco <laughs> two weeks ago, and this was like the perfect storm of misery, right? Now, in in um, in Australia, if a, a red-headed person's having a kid, we always go, oh, you're having an orangutan, are you? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Just a, just a little yeah. joke. You're having an orangutan, right? So there was this pregnant woman with red hair, right? And I'm like, oh, you're having an orangutan? Like that, right? But a oh, no. boyfriend's a black guy, right? I didn't mean it like that. Oh, so, it's, so it's a red-headed woman and a black guy. So I've done that thing where I've gone, just like, back up, just get out of the problem. <laughs> so I've gone, so what do, you, what do you do for a living? And then she went, I work at the zoo. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not good. Yeah, no. The, it was not a good night. It was the perfect storm of yeah. shit. <laughs> I'm at, uh, I was at Caroline's probably like three months ago, and I do this this bit when they aren't laughing. I just say out loud, like, if you guys don't start laughing, I'm going to lock the door and start a fire in this shithole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say, just, you know, because they're not laughing at me. And I said that. Another true story. I looked in the front row, two burn victims sitting there. Oh, how oh. great is that? Dude? <laughs> well, with, with their nurses that saved their lives like six months ago, and they wanted to have like a, uh, like a, a reunion. Uh, 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 they had the glasses on, the hat, everything. A reunion slash spoil yeah. everybody else's night. <laughs> I, I hear those two stick together. Uh, Come on. Uh, they weren't that badly burned because they could still wear glasses. So, no. You know, I, I think oh, just, yeah, that's all right. So ha wait, what happened? What happened? <laughs> So I said, I looked down and they're like, no, 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 no fire, no fire. And then I looked at them and I totally knew right away. I'm like, fuck, I can't. I mean, I couldn't stop and oh. be like, oh, you know, it's just, you know, I was kidding. You know, I just had to just fucking stay up there and say it. You know, it was just. Did you address the awkwardness of it? That's, that's a weird one. Burn victims. I can't. They were freshly. They were still on fire. These guys. They were, <laughs> <laughs> they seriously, they seriously were. They were fresh. I could smell it up there. It was oh. Ah, uh, you know what? That's that happens. Sometimes you do the wrong reference and fucking. Uh, what are the chances of that? But at least people see the them for them. Now? I know. Unfortunately, it's not. It doesn't happen every night because if you get a burn yeah. victim every night in the front row, what a fucking great career you can have. <laughs> I, I've had that one where where I've heard that like uh, like a noise, sort of like a rocking sort of uh, noise. And I've gone, shut up, you fucking retard! And yeah, it's a retard. <laughs> I had that once too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where you just like it's in the dark. You don't mean it. You know, I never call a retard a retard. You just you know. Yeah, what are you retarded? And all of a sudden, like yeah. you see that, that fucking face. You're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel bad about I yourself? Got, I once no, got heckled I by. Bad. A, yeah, bring him. I <laughs> once got heckled by a blind retarded guy, right? And uh, I said, "Oh, I'm just going to be up here for about 20 minutes or something in a set." And he, and he went, "That chance too long." Like that, right? Like just a stupid heckle. And I was like, "All right, I'm going to rip into this cunt." And I look in, and it's like a blind retarded guy. Oh. And I did that. Oh, thanks, fella. Yeah, you hope oh. you hope you have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> and then the audience lost all faith in me. <laughs> <laughs> they should have. <laughs> you should have asked him, "What are you doing when you're not ruining family photographs?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, that's that's a classic. <laughs> Reading up on Colin though, you you lived in the woods for. Th we're trying to get to know him a little bit. But you lived in the woods for thirty fucking days. What was that about? I what did. The fuck you do wrong? My parents sent me. It was kind of like this wilderness program to find myself, and I just mm. lived in the woods in British Columbia for thirty days with fifteen complete strangers. Wow, oh, not by yourself. I, I was thinking wait, you were wait, in the woods but, by yourself. Yeah. But did your parents think you were on drugs or something? No, or no, 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 nothing like that. Things no. where people yell at you and make you challenge yourself. I don't drink or do drugs now. I used to, not anymore. But no, when they actually, when you go on those, they actually make you jump in the water with all your clothes on before you even start like the trip. Just because if you're carrying shit, they want to like get it wet, weed and stuff like that. They oh, make, wow. that's a pretty they good make, idea. They make you jump in the water. That's yeah. a great idea. Not me though. Put it in a but part of the trip, <laughs> part of the trip actually, you have to have like a solo, which is like by yourself, you know, which I'm already isolated enough. But you gotta like be by yourself for like three days. Did you wank a lot? In that time? <laughs> no, not that much. We'd not in the woods. In, yeah. I would just be in the woods, just just crouched yeah. next but to since, a tree, just but, like a monkey. But since it was bear country, you couldn't go by yourself. So there, there was some scary shit, though. Oh, we, wow. They had helicopter food, and we used to wipe our ass with, like, nature, snow, <laughs> snow walls. Holy All shit. All that kind of stuff, yeah. So, what Colin, you quit drinking and doing drugs? Yeah. Uh, How long ago? Uh, almost uh, seven years. Oh, cool, man. Really yeah. cool. I know that. Yeah, but I don't understand why your parents were pitching that. I still don't understand. You know what, though? It was, it was fun, though. Uh, it's different, right? Yeah. I went to fucking just basketball camp. Jesus. I didn't do anything. I didn't hang out with bears and shit. Opera singing school. I've seen opera, yeah, opera singing. Singing. <laughs> I'm trying to bring up things that are cool, but they're not. You have to sign a, you have to sign a waiver before you go on this because you know yeah. people get hurt. Some girl in Africa left food in her uh, her tent. And she got ripped out by her head by like a hyena or something. So it's, yeah. <laughs> was she killed or just injured? Just injured, yeah. Injured. No, they could smell that shit. Very injured. You gotta and everybody, everybody was scarred, so like they had to pay for like the whole like, oh, really? like therapy afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you gotta put wow. that food and shit up in the trees. I saw a show like that where they had these uh, like teens that were all fucked up, and they they sent them to a program like that where they did have like solo time. They had to be away yeah. and. You could kind of almost hear some of the people crying, <laughs> like they were alone in some one tent. Because you're not like really a fuckload away from each other, right? You're just kind of alone in your little tents. Yeah. And and they could hear people crying, like the girls. <laughs> I'm alone. Yeah. I'd be in that tent so fucking fast. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> it's I, okay. Oh, I, I could poor. masturbate to a girl crying. <laughs> 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 I went to Camp Mason because uh, my mother thought it'd be good for me to spend. Sounds some... like a prison. It was all. It was actually one of the camps that they shot. It was like right down the street from where they shot Friday the Thirteenth. Oh, that was with, Camp with, Crystal Lake. Yeah, which is not really called that. Some dumb Indian name. And I remember there was one boy we didn't like, so we all urinated on his mattress. The whole camp story. It's <laughs> all I remember from camp. He killed himself. He was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that guy turned out great. My parents would send me food at camp, like care packages and stuff. And there was some fat fuck who I went to camp with, this huge kid, and he stole the box of my butterfingers my dad sent me. And I found it under his bed, so I took pictures of like the food under his bed, and I confronted the kid. <laughs> so great. Uh, isn't it, this is the beautiful part, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have three comedians, and not one of us has good camping stories. <laughs> One time, we we were mean to a kid, and he's like, you know, some kid pilfered my food, and we had to discuss it, and fucking Jeffries has no camping story, oh, no things I, he would I, do if he camped. I've, no, I've got, I've, got, I've got the scoutmaster masturbating on me, so I've got a bad oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I stand corrected. You have a great camping story. Yeah, that's a famous, that's a famous Jeffrey story. Oh, you, right? must, you must yes. have been an adorable little child. Yeah. Making the opera sound angelic. with his mouth. Oh, are you angelic? How do you, how do you think my voice got so good so quick? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why don't you get soprano? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, I just been informed that Bobo is ready to debut his oh, new character. Great, his new character. And what is this character so, called? Uh, and Colin, don't be shy. Just jump in. If you want to make fun of this retard like we do, you you go for it, man. Yeah, we'll do. He, he can, right. He's an actual retard. He? He's not well, he said no. Uh, we can officially say that now because he says he admits to being ten percent retarded. Ten percent. Ten percent. We think it's more like twenty-five. Who, who does 25, those 30. statistics? Is the doctor just? just you, say, you, you've ever? Have you ever met Bobo? I, no, but I've never. I, I'd like to know how. I think I'm at least two percent retarded. We have. I'd like to find out. We have a bit we've done with Bobo probably <laughs> ten times, but we got to do it for new people. I think. Yeah, because it's just it's it's he, amazing. He's asked that when he premieres his new character, that Back in Black be playing. Is this oh really? The, is this the guy who ate shit once? No. no, that's me. Oh, that's Eastside Dave. <laughs> no, it's Eastside Dave. Yeah, he ate a bit of shit. I don't remember that. He ate shit? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Eastside Dave is the real deal. Well, he's, he's, not, he's not allowed to do that stuff he anymore. He put shit in his mouth. Uh, no, he pretty was much it fucking shit? swallowed it. Yeah, yeah, he shits for you and then he eats it. 
Yeah. It's, it's a great bit. Oh, yeah. When he makes shitties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he makes shitties. Yeah. He makes shitties, yeah. That's what he calls He's it. a good boy, Dave. Yeah, he's funny. He makes shitties. He's going over a babe. Eastside Dave is a, is a he talent. Is. He really he's is. He's a funny hey, guy. Hey, wait, wait, wait. We don't have your music, Bobo. Hold on a minute. we got to find Back in Black. Oh, my God. This is Bobo. He's going to debut his new character. He's only 10% retarded. 10%. Remember that. Remember. He's also 10% gay. And 10% gay. And he's 10% gay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's what's the what's his new name? This is a uh, bargain drunk guy. <laughs> <laughs> Send him over to Shane Forty Five. Shot. You want to do the intro, Sam? Yes, please. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show, the world premiere of Barge in Drunk Guy. Oh, Barge in Drunk Guy. Barge in Drunk Guy. Yes, what the fuck? I got woken up early in the morning to get here. I just ran into that blind governor. I punched the crap out of his eyeballs. Those glass eyeballs. And I can't forget, you can't forget that Negro who cut me off on the, on the LIE. The Negro. He just cut me off on the LIE. He said, why are you wrong with you? Why are you been dumb with me? Why? Because I'm blind like this? No, because I'm blind. You pissed me off. I just punched him right there! Uh, only 10%? Oh, only 10%? <laughs> only 10%. I, got, 10%. I, got, I, I just kicked the crap out of him! And then I ran into this other guy! He was the Asian guy! By the way. Who just he said not why I didn't why I didn't pay the full 50 cents, I said! I didn't pay the full price for that newspaper! Because it's wet! And it's missing the sports section. What the fuck I'm is wrong with uncomfortable. you? Yeah, I yeah, want I'm, my sports I'm, section. I, I need to know how my bad. Mets did. I need to read my sports coverage. You know me by now. You I, know me for so many years. I you know I like my sports yeah, yeah. section. My so I punched the crap out of him as agent. <laughs> I thought I said, hey, I thought you knew Kung Fu. What's the matter? <laughs> I just kicked him right there in the balls! I think if he, he had he's any! Jim that guy has no ass, so I couldn't shove my foot up it's his a ass! Grower. It's a grower, it's this a character. Grower, yeah. And then this other Indian guy at my, at my deli? Yeah. Yeah. I got a sandwich just today! You know what happened? There was no. There was only one little slice of meat! Where my meat? Where's the meat of my sandwich? I want a sandwich. I want a pad full of pastrami. That's why I only go to Italian delis. This is the sole reason. <laughs> ever since I moved to this neighborhood, this guy has been the I'm worst deli guy, guy ever. Stuff, I just put the crap up in it. Says, Bubba. and says, Tase him. Tase him. <laughs> oh, you can't take <laughs> me. Rock, man. Bubba. Tase him. Bang, neck. Just watch him go down. Right in the neck. Uh, yeah. tase, him, tase him like a Jackson Charles. <laughs> <laughs> and Bobo uh, supposedly had a couple beers to get ready for this character, Sam. We we break this down a little bit because we don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, what yes. is this? Bobo, uh, he insisted that to do this character, he would need two beers. So now, he, why? What is the difference between two method beers acting. And, and just this? Retardation. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> well, it looks to me like you would have been able to do that without any beer. Well, yeah, I could, but to really feel it, like to really feel like I'm drunk, I kind of have to like really feel it, and You're it's with to, your arms, and to act Stop really doing act, that. really <laughs> act like a crazy drunk. I have to actually be drunk. It's the when you hide the thumb, and yeah, yeah. that's when you hide the thumb. That's when you know it's and, and, and you hide shaking them around. Yeah, oh. I, yeah. Oh. Well, you really like have to be drunk to really feel it. Yeah, <laughs> just to be plowing right through there. Uh, oh. to, 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 re to really like uh, feel it. Steve even as for Bayshore, uh, he's got a great idea. Could you do the? Could you do the cowardly lion for everybody? You do a terrific oh, uh, cowardly oh, lion. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Let me see if I could do this. I, 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 I Twitchell's did that. No. I'm not no, really not known for doing a cowardly. Twitchell's does it, but Bobo does it. Do you like much when Twitchell does it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, let me try. I've never done this one before. Put him up. 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 If I was a king of the forest, <laughs> I would not be just a nothing. My head all full of stuffing, my heart all full of pain. That's Jim Jeffrey singing. There you go, just Norton. Got a little taste of uh, right. Jeff Jesus. I don't know. What it was in tune. When it was in tune. 
So what he uh, he had a couple beers to get ready for his drunk. Yeah, he had uh, two beers and then he chugged uh, two giant monster energy drinks because yeah, he loves his monsters. Yeah. And this is what he uh, decided to come to the table with today. This is the big phone call prepping that he had. Yeah. That he had worked on this character. That was uncomfortable. Well, the barge and guy is uh, the barge and drunk. It's uncomfortable being around the barge and drunk because he's a barge and drunk, and he's right. a complete asshole. And you know this guy could get easily pissed off and beat the crap out of you if he was a real person. That wasn't why, but I mean, I guess that does make sense. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a comedy I, character. I think I got a. I, I think I, I got an idea. It's theatrical. Yeah. He does characters. I think we should all come up with characters for Bobo. I got one. All right. All right. Inappropriate uh, flasher. Oh. <laughs> inappropriate. Drunk yeah, make believe we're at camp and we're all young, like young oh, boys, and, and we're not gay or anything. But you're the inappropriate oh, flasher. Gosh, gosh. You're kind of a pedophile. No one knows that you're the camp counselor at the camp, and all of a sudden you barge in, and we're just kind of hanging out doing our thing as campers. And uh, you come in as the inappropriate flasher pedophile guy. Can you do that one, you think? You just add things to the word. That's right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm not so weirdo. thrilled about doing this because I'm not so the best. It's it's not a pretty sight, but well, clearly. It, you want him outside the studio and barge in as this guy? Yeah, I feel like you guys should take on the role as campers where you'll all, all right. speak like, and then the <laughs> inappropriate pedophile. Do I get on my knees and tie my hands behind my back? <laughs> 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 I really thought of a way to, to, to do this character on, on a spot, because I've, uh, I've heard stories about, about crazy I I idiots like this one, so... All right, you're gonna, come in? you're gonna come in as this guy? Yeah. Inappropriate flasher. Okay. Uh, you see where he's had plastic surgery on Clinton? Oh, Clinton? Face lift, yeah. Yeah? He's, he's got out. a real boozer's nose, though, now, too. Yeah. He's like, oh, yes! <laughs> He's got that fucking thing. Yeah. Oh, has <laughs> got cankles and a cock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, hey, kitties. Oh, kitties. Hey, kitties. How, kitties. You, how, how you doing, oh. kids? I hope you're having a great time here at camp. But I need to make you aware of a certain problem. I, You want to see a dick that's been messed up thanks to the fact they messed up a <laughs> urinary system operation when he was a baby? <laughs> This is a real messed up dick. It's not a pretty sight, but you gotta see this so you know that, so you know how bad, how, how bad. You, if you think you have it worse, if you think you're, if you think you're, you, I think, if you think you're, you're being bothered by the oh, fact no. you got a oh, tiny dude. dick, it could be a lot worse, kitties. You wanna see how bad? Oh, oh god! Oh. <laughs> see, it could be a lot worse. Bubba is that a clit? <laughs> see, it could be a lot worse. He just up the operation, It doesn't kiddies. clear the pubes. No, no, no. It's, it really had a messed up is, operation. It's not the best. I have never felt so good about myself. Watch it. <laughs> no, no, you feel like I a porn star. But it does change. It does I, I change. I admit, though, hold on, Bobo, I'm kind of lucky because there's a lot worse. Is that the 10% that's retarded? Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Bobo. Well, well, now we're going we're to say it's our greatest bit of all time. Now you watch the magic. Watch the magic. Watch the magic. Stay there right now. Do you know that Christina was in here before? Did you see her? Oh. I'm out of character now, but yeah, she. Uh, I didn't, oh, didn't see know. her, but Did I'm sure she's she, growing. She was gonna I'm take sure a shower for us yeah. and let it, those big breasts get all soaped up. Would yeah, you like to soap up her big tits? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to see that. <laughs> you could probably grab them both and soap them up. <laughs> it's gonna hit your leg, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 of course. I'm, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, just believe me, I would love to see that. You yeah, guys are so big yeah, and heavy, right? Just, this is the first yeah, time, yeah, like, yeah, Colin's yeah, been yeah, in yeah, here for yeah, how yeah. long? Yeah, it's, it's, I need to sit so by myself for a day. Yeah, would you yeah. suck her big tits and let her play with your dick? Yeah, yeah. she'd probably tug on and squeeze it. Yeah, yeah I would. <laughs> I would. Just the big old, big old titties, just, uh, yeah. and you're just. Yeah, 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 yeah I would. I would. Titties. Oh yeah, I would love. I would love to rub my. Actually, I, would, <laughs> I would bury my face in that and those big boobies. But now the reversal. So what do you think about the Mets this year? I mean, I, I think that a lot of a lot of the uh, the prospects are not performing as to how they thought they were going to. Well, I gotta remember it is early in spring trading. Yeah. And they're they're. Well, they won what seventeen thirteen. Now but they're saying that the second base prospect is not doing what he's supposed to be doing, and the pitching staff is not quite up to par. <laughs> Do you think the pitching staff is going to get it done this year or no? Yeah, I think they are. It is spring trading, as I said. <laughs> Only the first two days of spring trading. The head is missing no. a piece. I can see over yeah, there. The first, missing first, a piece. first two it's days, like though, yeah. they're, they're going to be a lot better. They they need to get into pitching for, pitching four, but right? Yeah, because the uh, relief to the bullpen is not quite living up to expectations. 
Uh, and their closer situation is not what it's supposed to be. I'm worried about well, David Wright, well, too, man, well, to be honest. Nah, nah, he, he I'm did a, good, a little he did worried good. about he, him, Bobo. He, he, just, he just hit a home run yesterday. I understand yeah. he did, but let's Where look past that. He's oh, going to have a much better season than last season. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm sure of that. He's going to have a much better season this year. No, yeah, I think so, too. But they're also <laughs> saying, you watch, are you keeping up with the Yankees at all or no? I I hear I hear stuff he, here and there. I don't watch, I, I don't I don't watch the the, the Yankees, <laughs> but I hear stuff because they're in the same city. So I'll hear stuff in the Daily News. And plus, I got I got I got friend I got a I got a friend of mine who's a Yankee fan. So we talk about how our teams are doing. But damn that chick that chick there. <laughs> is has a penthouse Whoever open. she is. Turn on the centerfold. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ooh, the who is that chick? Oh, oh man. I, I was that chick. I was looking at her to cleanse me. Yeah, she, <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> yeah. she is like. He's a full wah, 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 wah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, okay. sexy picture. That's John Lejeau. <laughs> <laughs> the things you do, man. Yeah. Okay. Can we pour hot coffee on it? Two girls. It looks like it already has. Christ. A bit of a lesbian well, shit. I would love it's to like be in the middle of that. They're not real the lesbians. They're not punching. Foam <laughs> yeah. 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 Magic pill that oh, man. the foam dinosaur yeah. mess. The, the, the fucking snakes. The you snake used to light skin. it on fire. Yeah, it's a great reference. It's at full power. Yeah, yeah. It's just how much we... It's just that hot and wanting to be in the middle of that with the two chicks like that. Yeah. Jeffrey, it just goes up and down all day depending on what you talk talk about. It's I, unbelievable. Yeah, well, you can have it's that. Un it, okay? We can make it go away within yeah. seconds by just talking <laughs> baseball. It's so bizarre. <laughs> 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 Anyone else have a character for Bobo? Um, yes, how about run down the hall like that character? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, um, yes. Why don't you act retarded and take your dick out? How, how about... <laughs> yeah, I don't want to creep out people I'm, like that. I'm gonna have a character called Stay Away From All My Relatives character. <laughs> It's got like nine colors. It's I got this angle right here. The tip is missing something. Oh, uh, it's had well, 48 operations. All right, they, oh, they really? messed up. Yeah, a, tell them. They em. messed up a urinary cyst. I, I get tired of telling this story, but oh. since you want to know, people, people are tired of hearing. They, they messed up an operation when I was a baby, a urinary system operation, and I had a urinary infection when I was li little because of that operation. I nearly died twice. What about the pubes, though? What, what are you doing with that? Yeah, yeah, they really are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you you I'm need... trying to figure out recommendations on a get a clip on, and get the on, same on, thing you clip your I'm head. I'm trying in. to figure out recommendations <laughs> on a good razor that that no, don't, that, don't razor. that won't that won't cause any bad cuts. No, looks... don't get a razor. Get the same things that you clip your head with, Here's and just 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 go over it. Or get <laughs> or get right the, across your neck. And I'm also trying scissors. to work on. I'm trying to work on. All, I'm trying to figure out a good recommendation. <laughs> to, oh, you to, want you want us to duct tape your pubes today? No, you I want think to take I, one shot. I, I think you should. One shot. I well, think you well, should. Well, How about it, one shot? Well, it's, if it's an area that's not close to the penis. Yeah, I understand. Ah, Let's do yeah. that. All right, because yeah. I don't want any cuts there. Right? Right. It, it's already enough. I've had to go through so many surgeries. I got to drink a lot of fluids. We got gaffer's that. tape. That should work. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I you also. Also, I'm trying to also figure out a good thing to use after I shave my pubes to prevent irritation. A beer. Yeah. Suicide. No, yeah. no, 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 I mean, I mean, what, I mean, what do I use on my, on, don't, on don't the area? Don't shave them. Don't shave them. Just trim them. Don't shave them. No. Bobo, by the way, we could have this discussion with your pants up as well. Just yeah, yeah. That's better that down though. No, no, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would prefer my pants up, but for some reason, Jimmy down. keeps saying to hit it down. I'm, I'm not right, but I'm also trying to figure out a good. A good, a good thing to on the skin to prevent irritation, like when I try to tr keep, keep maintaining the 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 the, the hairless cock. Nair. I, I like the, the hairless. Hair no, 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 I think nair is for, is for removal. About, like, I'm talking about something after I shave myself to prevent irritation on the skin. Aren't you afraid you might just nick your dick right off? I don't think I can nick it off. I don't think I can nick it off, but it can cause bad cuts, and I don't want to deal with that. All right. Hey, uh, you want E-Rock to do this? I, 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 I want him to take what? one shot. I, I have to say, I've, I've never one seen shot. anything like Wait, that. Wait, see who took take one shot. That's He's, terrible. We're going to find out. Oh, like, like, ripped off like, some hair out? Yeah. Uh, if you see he said as long as it's not close to what? the... What? It's retarded. <laughs> 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 no. 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 <laughs> on E-Rock, yeah, but you can't do that on a retarded guy. Yeah. No. I'm not, I'm not completely Shut retarded. Shut up, you are. You are. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that bit mightn't be retarded, Jimmy. That might, that bit might be. Shut up, you uh, are. 
But uh, Paul, you look, though, you're only 10%, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only a small percentage. And by the way, the doctors thought it was going to be worse when I was a baby, when they messed, when I was one, two years old, when they when messed they up. When they said 10% of you was retarded, they meant the brain area. <laughs> Not, yeah, but they, but, they, but they thought it was going to be a lot worse when I first had those urinary system problems. They thought it was going to be a lot worse. <laughs> Dude, his his hair at the bottom, it, it's matted. I, tur I turned yeah, down. It looks like, you yeah. know on the subway, you see someone's like, they don't wash their hair for years, looks like a beaver's tail. It's just uh, this. They, yeah, they thought yeah. I was going to turn He's out a lot worse. dreads starting on his they, balls. <laughs> they thought I was going to be so, it was going to turn out so bad that I was going to be wearing a helmet. That's how bad they thought it was going to be. A helmet? How far yeah. off were they? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> they, they, were, pants they, your they were very, they, they they were very far, guy. they were very far off. Four off. <laughs> I, I'm interested. You're, you go, you uh, do I'm the pants up annoying. over the gut. I'm a tuck under the gut so guy. I, like, I do that, right? Me so it means that my waistline's never changed. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got the same. I'm still a 33. I've always been oh, a is 33. That why that is? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, he pulls them right up. I've it gotten depends, fatter. It, it depends yeah. how long the pants are. If I'm wearing pants that have long pants legs, I'll put them a little bit more up. Fascinating. Because I don't want, because I don't want them to drag, drag below my really, feet. Really, really, oh, Bobo. God, Bobo. Yeah. God bless yeah. you. Yeah. You big cock man. All right. Yeah. Well, I yeah. I wish it was a lot slap Kenny's face with it. I wish it was two more inches with. I wish that my dick was at least three more inches. You inches couldn't deal with a four inch. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna wish it was bigger, you, it's not yeah. gonna come true. So if you might as well your say, yeah, the yeah, genie yeah, for I more. Could, I could handle a four incher. Yeah, you can handle a four incher. How big is your penis, honestly? It is about three well, with the erected three Two and a half smarty inches. Packs. <laughs> it, must, it, it must be nice that a girl can always deep throat you, though. Yeah, yeah. It's always a gift. Bobo, what about the um, the gay thing? Ten percent still? Yeah, it's moving. Ten percent. It's moving. It's moving. No, it, we did gay stuff, and it doesn't. Yeah. It just it retracted doesn't, when it I said it's moving. It moved, it and then shrivels. it went back. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't oh, pop. It God. doesn't pop. Would you be turned up? Turned on with Sam's dirty asshole over your face? No. I thought you were. 10 I think you. Gay. I think you like dirty asshole. 10% no. gay. Look over there, there's oh, porn there, though. There's the yeah. chick with big tits over there, though. Yeah. Look at those things. Oh, man, who is that? Imagine having that. Look at it, look at it. Things you, you Picture can... her, you, look at the grandma's oh. attic. Picture that right there. You could get a tip wank just underneath one. Listen to the noises he makes when he looks like I know, he's like, wow. He's got the right amount of hair, just that nice little peach fuzz. Oh, got yeah. that nice little peach fuzz. You got going. the same thing, peach fuzz. Same thing. <laughs> Not. No, he's, oh, he's a secretor. Oh, he's got a oh, massive yeah. toupee. The, the bottom of it looks all scaly. Terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is just in a, a shower. It's a I mess. Be in the bad <laughs> mess is not the worst. It's like, how's he going to Mess is not the worst. Yeah. If he's not shagging, then where's the little VD? Is he a virgin? Yeah, I think so. But I wish there was a hot chick that would help me with that virgin problem. Ah, hot chick. How about any chick? I have a wall in my cock that's the same size. Any hot chicks interested, please contact me. Oh, it's fucking up now. Holy shit. Wow, he's a full up. Bubba, why are you getting hard? Because we're talking about. Like melted gay stuff. Chest. No, he's showing <laughs> porn, dude. Yeah, no, no, I've seen no, this. Did you say a melted chest? Yes. Yeah, look at it. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> Hold on. Well, it was a bishop. Uh, <laughs> I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice chick. It can go diagonally, but not straight. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> Bobo. Nice chick. That's a nice chick. Bobo, oh, you a virgin, yeah. Bobo? Yeah, unfortunately, I am. Unfortunately, yeah. for who? As I said, so I where are the like VDs come from? I gotta, I gotta be able to lose it at some point. Yeah. Just pay for it, mate. Just well, get a, well just the thing is, I don't have that kind of money. Why don't we have money. sent to the Bunny Ranch? I tell you what, yeah, we've I would tried. love that. Why don't we? I yeah. would love that. Mm -hmm. I would love that. I could use a nice trip to Vegas. Then why don't we do that? It's not in Vegas. Would, it's I'll, in uh, Reno. Yeah, we'd love well, to Well, Reno, whatever. I'll have a memorable trip to Nevada. That's what I mean. Nevada? N yeah, yeah, I love you. Nirvana. 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 I don't know how to pronounce... I don't know the right way to pronounce it. I just pronounce it with too well, much video or fashion. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll chip in for that. Oh, that's fair. Oh, I'll chip in. Oh, my chick. We don't, need, we don't need chipping in. We just need to... Be able to do it. And oh, right. what can't you do? This it's completely nice legal. Yeah, I would we'll love to out. take her in the hay. I would take in this the hay, huh? the I would let this chick One bit bring of advice. When, barn, when you go to the bunny ranch, you, have like two wanks that day. Empty yourself out so you can have a bit of a trip with it. Talk dirty to her, Bubba. Let him talk dirty oh, to her. Yeah, this guy really chick, knows what he's doing. I could tell you. 
You're gonna get it. You're gonna see what city co- big city cock is all about. <laughs> big city cock. <laughs> name of a bar in the It's actually a scorpion song. I hope. It's actually become creepy now. That was the time for me. That's right. This New Yorker is gonna go down, be down on the farm. Yeah. Yeah. And you're gonna go down. I want you to go down on me. You say you're down in the farm. You're gonna go down on the bobo. That's right. You're gonna go down in the bobo. Do that. Yeah, that's right. I want you to show me He's your milking skills. There. I feel you're like gonna I'm gonna part go- of a crime. I, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> I think you are. Milking. I want to see your milking skills. Yeah, that's right. Oh. You show me your milking skills. Show me your milking skills. Milk that. Milk that bitch. Come on. You know, you milk it. You want some of that milk I'm on gonna you. I'm going to come. <laughs> <laughs> that milk. Yeah, that's right. Gonna... That's right. That's right. You form. You want some of the milk? Take that, you form bitch. Yeah. Oh, you God. want it. Oh, my God. The right? guy who's never fucked anyone, he knows how to talk to him. Yeah. You know, Bobo told me an interesting story earlier about the type of pornography that he watches sometimes. Oh, really? What kind of... Yeah. Well, well, that, well, it's been years since I've really jerked off to this, but I've jerked off to bestiality videos in the past. <laughs> Yeah. I what, have, type, what type of animal? Exactly. Well, it depends see, on the animal. Well, yeah. I noticed like one of the ones I seen that that was kind of interesting is always when chicks like get fucked by dogs because for mm, some reason yeah. that seems like very Just feels right. <laughs> no, yeah. no, that seems more realistic <laughs> because. <laughs> <laughs> For one thing, you don't see it, it isn't very common to find like a chick that has a horse. Right. Yeah, there's, right. there's a few if you unless, was... unless the chick is on a farm or 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 somewhere in a in in a, in, in, in a ranch or something. Yeah, you're not gonna yeah. find many chicks that have All right, mm. we get that part. But, but the there's, a dog, there's, a o- there's a lot of dog there's a lot of dog good reasoning. There's a lot of dog owners. It's making a lot of sense here. So yeah. I figured there's probably chicks that really love their dogs so much. That when they're horny and he needs some, and for some reason, as hot as they are, they don't have a man for some reason. It's the biggest it's been Don't right go now. to the, ne- the nearest guy. <laughs> and in that case, sometimes the nearest guy they could find is your dog. And how does, I, it, how, dog. how does it play out when you see these videos? Well, like, I'm sure set the you, scene. Well, I'm sure usually something like a dog would might, well, I'm not sure how... They might have to do something to get the dog to want to fuck uh, a human. How would, you get the, Bobo, how would you get the dog to fuck you? Well, no, no, not me. But I'm talking about a female. I think how a, how a, how a chick would get a dog to fuck them. I was thinking if the dog's fucking. I don't fucking, know. Uh, they would get. They would get like a. I don't know. I'm guessing one of the best things. I guess they would use would be peanut butter. Cause I, cause I want to. Cause I've seen once when I was asleep on a couch. I've seen. I, well, I, I, I've been to this. One time, my sister thought it'd be funny to leave oh peanut my butter God. on my feet. Uh, what are we doing? And. Both of my sister's dogs started licking the peanut butter off from my feet, so I'm oh. guessing a chick would All put right. peanut butter on her asshole, <laughs> or even a clit, uh, and the dog would just go fuck the crap out of them. This, this is they would be so horny, they would just lick that and just go start fucking the... Wouldn't the dog just lick up some peanut butter and just move yeah, on? Yeah, but I'm sure sometimes All the dog... All cock's going to get involved because Yeah, but I'm sure the some dogs could be very horny. I can tell you that because I noticed how because when my I have a female cousin and when she was visiting one of my sister's dogs she's got two dogs all right we she, we just got a second dog his name is Mr. Baludigan <laughs> he's a schnauzer a schnauzer he's a very small we need a bell he's one of those small like, like it's the end of the match holy shit he, he, he's one of those very, very he's a small dog uh, but for some reason oh, well. when my cousin Melissa picked up this dog. Bobo. That dog had a boner. If you could see it, I think you had to. No, you had to use a magnifying glass to find it. Like a real cock than yours. The, the, no, to find a boner on that dog. Uh, right. He's talking that, about that the dog, dog and the erection is not going right? anywhere. Yeah. That dog has a small cock. How would you? And know? my cock was big compared to his. All right. Yeah. Yeah. But I could tell that that dog had a boner. The reason is I had my cousin picked up. Everybody's I said, on their phones now. I was saying to myself, I, I, I know. Watch I got it. You got saying, everyone texting. I, I was saying. That's not a good sign if you got all the hosts yeah. uh, looking at their phones. Yeah. Well, what I did You're is I said, You're Melissa, the crowd. I bet the you crowd. this dog will Do get you a- hear anything? You're plowing uh, through. You're, you're losing everybody. Bobo. Oh, man. This chick's a hot chick, oh, though, man. Oh, God, Jake. This chick in a shower? Oh, man. I would love to take her in a shower. Oh, uh, all right, Bobo. Thank you. Oh, He's, man. This chick you're in there, wash your balls. If, if, if he comes, I'm in the firing line, man. I don't want to be. 
I'm firing one. I, I don't want uh, that 10% retarded cum. What do you think? That fucking little pea shooter can get to you? Bubba, we're yeah. going to send you to Vegas. I like his black underwear. Oh, I would love that. Yeah, that's sexy. Like or, he's Russian. Wait, we sent... We sent... <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Russian guys wear, like, dark underwear. Well, the thing is, I'm, I'm mixed, but there's no Russian in me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't ever wear white underwear because I have a... My, I got a bloody hemorrhoidy asshole. Mm. Holy shit. I have, I, I have blood. Oh I God, have you... blood in my shit on a regular basis. Really? So, and there's Whoa. nothing worse than a skid mark than a have blood you had that splash. checked out? Yeah, yeah, but you bloody oh, camera up the ass. And, and what do they say? Oh, was? my God, yeah, I know. That, hemorrhoids, look at hemorrhoids, me. Oh, hemorrhoids. Amen, amen, amen to that. I, 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 amen, amen to that. Amen, amen, to, that. amen to that. I've had, I've had hemorrhoids before, right? I had to have a colonoscopy. Hold on, hold on. Holy shit. Colonoscopy. Com you know what? I, I just realized we're being really rude. Uh, you yes. haven't shown Colin Kane your asshole yet. Oh, oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I apologize. I've never seen it either. I'm very excited. I apologize that. Turn to me. I can't say. If you think I'm so rude of us. I really apologize. I was talking in the carpet. <laughs> oh my god, those those hairy flies eyes just hanging out the no, bottom. Bobo, you got, they can't see anything yet. You know what? You gotta you gotta Oh, <laughs> oh god. This just I might need to get the I might need to go for the hand sanitizer after this wow, one. That's an awful asshole. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I've, I've never just, seen that. Dude, it like, is, it's hyperventilating. Let me it's see that. that. You know that hole in the grill? <laughs> Wait, what, what? That's Tom? an awful asshole. That, that hole on the grill where they scrape all the shit into when you make an egg. <laughs> <laughs> this is so disgusting. This is fucking Amy Bobo, Limehouse. Bobo, turn this way a little bit. <laughs> Jim's hungry. Oh, Jim's oh, hungry. Keep turning. Shit. Wow. Uh, that's my, a my, my, eyes eyes are, my eyes are watering. Well, like, look at the little marker where the hair is. How sweaty they Open it up, you fucking silly goose. Oh, <laughs> there's shit in there or oh something. My, oh, my God. Look out, he, he, oh, my God. He, he looks this, just what ashamed. Do you, do you wipe the back of your knees after your shit? What are you uh, doing? You're you missing your ass completely. <laughs> there's turkey. Sam. No, I wipe my ass. Turkey from Thanksgiving. Is that there's just a bunch of shit in the loading dock. I smell open ass. Do you in smell the loading, loading dock? dock? Is that what yeah. you call your asshole, the loading dock? No, well, right before it shits. That's where it'll be in the loading dock. There's shit in the loading dock. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of funny. The place that it comes down into right before you have to shit is you the loading, loading dock. dock. Loading dock. E you know what? Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's kind of funny. No, no, does it, you know, don't Come touch on, it. Does his butt it, smell? It looks like it smells. It smells. Like it smells. Hold on, Sam, let him use well, his mic. I'm, I'm not gonna have his Do you smell it? I once vomited on his Jim, belly button. Do you smell it, Jim? No, why? I smell it. I oh, I smell it. it. I'm not getting up close, though. It's, well, there's a bunch of silent but deadly. It's an asshole that's filthy. Of course you smell yeah. it. It's silent but deadly. Like running over a skunk and going, I think I smell it. Open it, open it to the cheeks, Bubba, for Christ's sake. Be a good guy. <laughs> Eron, oh, smell. Jesus. There's a monster. Oh, oh God. It's like there's no sphincter, just a big line. <laughs> it's a hatchet. Well, it looks like if you didn't clean out a shrimp. It's just a black <laughs> line. <laughs> he didn't devein his ass. <laughs> just smell it. Just it's smell. not that shrimp and shit. I can tell you one thing. I had a colonoscopy recently. The, the worst so feeling funny. ever. Colonoscopy. Oh, yeah? I had to drink this gallon of this liquid that's horrible tasting. <laughs> Stop talking, Bobo. It's water. Smell, You're a soprano. Eli, just smell. Open your cheeks, Bobo. Open the other cheek. Come on, Bobo. Just smell. Don't touch no, him. Oh, oh, no. Put your, put your yeah. face in. There we go. There oh, we go. Shit. Get in there, oh, you rock. Oh, e rock. Oh, dude. You know when you see a bodega, they put shit in the window, and it just after the sun <laughs> gets to it for years. How much? How That's much would I? How much would I have to pay you? How much would I have to oh, pay you dude, it's for you to reach in and pull a little clump of the hair yeah, out? There's not enough. There, it looks like there's breadcrumbs in there. These little oh, white pieces. Yeah. Left. It looks like Al Jolson's it, lips. I'm, I'm, I'm I've got to tell you, <laughs> the shape of it, it looks like it looks like a seventies vagina. You know what yeah, it really like, does? Uh, yeah, Bobo, you got like, like a seventies vagina going on back there. <laughs> his asshole, exactly. You do. It looks like you have a vagina. Yeah, it's it's just straight up and down. It's not. Yeah, you don't have a hole. You have a slit. My asshole's as bad as that, though. In all, yeah? All the, really? I, I got a terrible Mine's looking Mine's a delight. Uh, my one has a really swollen side of it. Like, I've put some things up there, and, and then it's just... <laughs> my, my, my asshole looks like it's had a stroke. It <laughs> properly, <laughs> it properly <laughs> does. <laughs> Where did he rock go? He couldn't take it? Uh, what happened? Left. Well, I'm glad to say that I didn't get raped by Paul Hoggis as a kid. By Paul, Paul ha uh, Hoggis. That it's a explains show, everything. Thanks. Show reference. It's a show reference. Yeah, it's a show oh. reference. Linger longer. Right? Linger longer. Yeah, well, not right, with your asshole open.
Thank Bobo, you, Bobo, how's your comedy going? Looking like a fool. I'm opening for Vinnie Brand on the 26th at the Stress Factory, New Brunswick, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> for more right. information. Jim Jeffrey's face was just one of complete and utter puzzlement. For more information. And he pointed go, over his go shoulder to the stress at Bobo. Factory. What? <laughs> what? 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 Is Vinnie, is Vinnie he, hired is he stand up? Uh, no, but he. Uh, but Vinny knows he'll get plugs, and, and I, yeah. Vinny's a smart and man. And me, I got, I got, I got some good stuff. Have you seen a video? The the video the time I opened for Burst. Does anybody? Give me one of your jokes. Know? Give me one no, of your no, no, no. If we're gonna do, if we're, if you want, we'll set up this place as a fucking comedy. Well, first I need some hand sanitizer place. for. Yeah, yeah let him for clean up. Sake. You like, want? I had to touch my own asshole. He's the king of. Wait, uh, let him put on a new shirt too. I got yeah. a bunch of shirts that I don't yeah, want. Yeah, Bobo, you go take me to the room. Put on a new shirt, Bobo. We're gonna it, it, remove the headset. We're, oh, we're gonna allow everyone to. ordering you around. We're gonna allow everyone to see how uh, funny right, your comedy right, is, right. Bobo. Bobo. We yeah. usually set this place up like a comedy place. Don't touch and, the doorknob. And Bobo's really good at uh, dealing with hecklers, Jim Jeffries. Do you ever feel bad about things like that? Like as, <laughs> as yeah. fun as it is to make a retarded guy split his ass cheeks <laughs> open for you, and as innocent as it sounds, uh, do you ever do you ever like sometimes just go when I go home? Yeah, yeah. like like it's always at, in, the, in the moment. No, I could give a flying fuck about <laughs> yeah. anybody, but the second I leave and I'm driving home, I'm like. Oh god, that was really fucking awful. <laughs> it's you, I'm you're, a horrid person. It's you here later, I deserve later, nothing. Yeah. That n any gains I have made from this business, when I'm in, I, I don't deserve because you know, they've just been hurting people. What are you doing? No one uses that much soap. I was yeah. 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 <laughs> He's scrubbing up. You're right. ready for surgery. I just touched asshole for God's sake. Who's really? your asshole? You, you, you know where it's been. What did you just help Steve floss his teeth? Yes. I just. Asshole, and I'm not talking about a Philly fan, for God's sakes. Whoa! Oh, hey. 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 How's that asshole? Philly, <laughs> this season, I'm going for you guys. That's right. I'm kicking your asses, Philly, this year. This year, so my Mets are kicking like your ass this sandwich. year. <laughs> Yo, fucking mess. He just trampled this over. Year, oh, Mets know. make the playoffs. I'm, I'm making it. a Philly fan eat, eat my own jizz in a cheesesteak. Yeah. Wow, that's a wow. Why do we want to be? He I, I, I'm going to propose a sports up. bet with Ronnie B I'm this talking. year. If the Mets make Why the playoffs, this Bobo, Bobo, get me Bobo, a chase. Hold on a minute. This do you know? Do you know who was asking about yesterday? Who Who was asking about me? No one. No one. Bobo. <laughs> 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 I figured out. I don't think anyone's asking. I thought it shut him up. I'm sorry. My trouble, that's I, harsh. I, that's I, got, harsh. I, got, I, I got a sports bet Bubble, proposal stop, for Ronnie like, B. Yeah, you're, no, 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 no Kenny, is this, is don't this uh, grounds for don't use of it. deadly physical force? I, I, because I'm kind of feeling it. Jimmy's got close. Uh, I you. feel threatened. On, My life feels threatened if no, I keep listening no, to I'm this. Not gonna be, I'm not really going to beat anybody up. Yeah, up. yeah we know that. Put on a new shirt. Yeah, we want. We want to. We want to do something nice. What's wrong with the old shirt? I, I, those are all my shirts. My girlfriend was so disgusted. What's wrong with shirt he's wearing? It's terrible. Why? It's a t-shirt. Oh, you can't perform in that. Oh, I'll, yeah, get I'll a good shirt me on. one of those t-shirts. No, we're... Get a good shirt on. <laughs> you gave me that look of... Well, of course you do. Jimmy brought in a lot of stuff from home. What are those sex out toys and stuff? Oh, no, it's no, they're just, they're just awful things my parents gave me for Christmas. Do you have, like, Drakhar? No, the, 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 they the, gave me Axe. Axe? Body spray? Yeah. I'm like, what am I, <laughs> fucking... Like your teenage Puerto Rican son? What am I going to do with that? They gave you Axe in the chest, like fucking... Uh, oh, I got shit. it. Okay, shut up. You got fucking... You got the other... He did it! He did Axe in the chest! I'm just going to Bobo fucking... Don't shut up mode. That's a nice shirt. Hey, Jimmy, you've actually performed in that I shirt. Back, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm I have one I did TV yeah. with. That I my know, girlfriend I wanted to see. Right no, listen, I'll show you one I did okay. TV. No. Bobo's putting on one of Jim Norton's really it's a nice dress shirt. Nice, it's a nice dress shirt. Much, much nicer. Yeah, I guess you don't. Know it's a shirt. It. I'm shirt. doing it. Put it. You can put it over your head. Like. There's one button buttoned on that on that dress shirt, and he was putting it on like a t-shirt. He's putting it on like a t-shirt. It's a that's all he knows. She hated, she it's hated Pavlov's idiot. She hated this one. What is oh, it? what is it? It's a fucking bad shirt. Good, she should. It's I got some like, really bad clothes. It's embossed. Shirt. That shirt is embossed. With little suns. Yeah, little suns. <laughs> and then you got another wrinkly dress shirt. Are those Van Heusen? No, I want to buy <laughs> right? 
Good call. Like, Did you get them at Wallach's? I hate to iron this when I get home. This Shut is up. Yeah. Hey, Bobo, you look good in that shirt, man. That's a good, yeah. it's a good shirt for you. Timmy Jones, shut up as Bobo tries on his nice shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Those black oversized jeans. Like, you know when an immigrant comes to, like, the U.S., they don't know what to wear, so they just <laughs> wear these fucking huge jeans. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is what he's got on. Yeah, I always get he's, done in this country wearing two skinny corner, jeans. People like, always just yeah. selling Still in fucking coach bags. Yeah. Waiting for fucking. Don't. <laughs> no, no, don't put it around. Oh uh, no! Don't, uh, don't. He's giving him a Michael Hutchins feel to the yeah. outfit. <laughs> just put the belt around, around his, his neck. neck. It's hanging. I don't know what I don't know what I don't know what clips of the kitties try to do with this. Try to make this tie tie. resemble a tie. Yeah, yeah. Make oh, it a there tie. There you go. There you go. There you go. No, take the belt oh, off him. Take, yeah, take, take the belt, take off, the belt off him. Give, it's scaring me. Yeah, hey, it, it's, put it around my neck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I put it around my pants. fucking eyes. <laughs> I don't want to That's see this anymore. Shark. I, I wore that when I taped fucking uh, the Metro Comedy Show <laughs> on TV. Oh, yeah. That's a bad shirt. Did you come straight from bowling? Dude, that's a fucking <laughs> horrible. Yeah, that is a bowling shirt. Colin, Colin, Colin Quinn told me I look like a Dominican, a, a Cuban domino player in that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he was absolutely no, no, right. No, leave the other shirt on. He looked good in the other shirt. No, this one's better. Right. Bobo, that's, that's, that's a great shirt. Bobo, that's oh, an actual yeah. TV right. shirt. Right. Right. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. yeah. he just morphed into someone else. No, no, no. You're doing the buttons up wrong, mate. Look, look, he's not letting that's fine, Jim. Yeah. 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 Those yeah. are pants. The uh, one button hole. You ever do that when you were five years old and took the one button hole that was below the button and you button your shirt all the way up? No, no, please, please let him button his No, that's shirt. perfect. There you go, Bubba. Oh, he looks dude. good. That's perfect. perfect. You got pizzazz in that shirt. Oh, Look, Jim Jeffries no, is tapping no, out. No, no, no. He's tapping I, 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 out. He's got to be able to put his own shirt on. You have, to, David. you have to tell him to wear the shirt properly. It, like, what? It, it looks, looks good. good. Because that's what you do to another human being. If you see someone who's got like, food I, on them or something like that. That's pretty good. You, you point it out. You don't just mock them. I am totally feeling Jim Jeffries here. I really am. Hold on a second. I rushed but, when I button when I uh, button. Yeah, right, yeah. Button, button, button your shirt properly. Yeah, you right, guys are just going to leave I rushed him. when I did this. I know. Good, it's okay. It uh, like. Bobo, it's I okay. Feel, I feel yeah, the same way. Bobo, you got material today for you everybody? better, Bobo. Jim, when did you wear that shirt? You got material? Know. A fucking years ago. Well, I, like I years don't have, or like a year? Wait, hold on. You know what she hated? The button has flames on it. I don't have the new material, but I have to say this about... Uh, no, 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 don't do your hold material on, yet. you're not dressed yet. D do you want, I, I don't want to spoil it for the people that are about to see th that that, don't that will be in the audience. It. Don't worry about it. I don't want to ruin the surprise, don't but you want me to debut you my Miss no, no, Sarah Palin thing? Sometimes yes, I like Sarah to hear the old Palin jokes. material. He's going to do a Sarah Palin material. Yeah, because she annoys me. Hold She's on, we're not doing it yet. Is, isn't she your mom? yet. <laughs> oh my god. And you're yelling at us? By but way, that's funny! Come on! But you're yelling at us! Humanity goes out the window when you got a good one. Yeah. <laughs> but you got a good life. <laughs> Fuck it all. Exactly. God, is that true? Holy shit, that was good. Alright, Bubba, we're gonna do it like this is a comedy place, alright? Right. And, and by the way, Colin, he loves hecklers. Got He's it. really good with heck <laughs> yeah. hecklers. Hey, really oh, good. They, they don't get to me. No, yeah, no, no. Jim no. Jeffries, he loves Either hecklers. Either women could work a crowd. Teddy? He right, loves here, hecklers. Yeah. Kenny's good. Okay. All right. For full intent to purposes, I'm going to... You want us to... You want an intro. All right, one that outfit, right. man. That's a good idea. I got to think. Yeah, we'll take a break, right? And when we get back, Bobo does some stand-up yeah. for Colin Kane and... And uh, Jim Jeffries both playing at Caroline's uh, tonight through the weekend. Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. Hit it. We got Jim Jeffries in studio today. He's fucking headlining Caroline's, and he only comes around like twice a year at this point. So make sure you get your tickets this weekend to see Jim. Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. And one of the guys with Jim Jeffries this weekend is Colin Kane, a very funny comic that just needs a break in this business. I think everybody does, but is Colin is waiting man. for that uh, that fucking break to happen for him, and. Uh, you're gonna definitely like what uh, what what he does at Caroline's as well. I've been laughing my fucking ass off. Yeah, that's some funny shit. Thanks, well, guys. Very good, man. Well, he had a line about the razor because Boba <laughs> wasn't sure what to do with the razor, and and Colin said something like, "How about you you run it across your neck?" <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I heard it. That in. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking great. Man. I heard it. People here, people uh, hear everything out there. So if you think you're throwing a line out, and you're like, "Oh fuck, uh, I didn't get anything." Someone out there's laughing. So why is this here? They, someone brought in a whole. Oh, oh. oh. You, you haven't done the heckle bit with uh, Bobo yet. I don't think he was I, here yet. I don't think oh, he was here for that. Okay. Actually, I'm not up with this one, but I'm gonna. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> this one. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do it. Not, not. To, <laughs> it's the mob mentality. Yeah, I'm really gonna be involved. Yeah, yeah. Jim, it's not to.
Once you do just, it, it's uh, fun. Yeah, you'll see. You yeah, just, yeah. Right, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll hit him. Wait, yeah. it's, like, it's like the first uh, kill in the Nam. You know, yeah. you feel kind of bad, but then after a while, you're taking ears. You don't care. Hey, uh, <laughs> four, four gooks today. <laughs> That's it, man. At first, you're throwing up and crying and shit, and then uh, you're just like, hey, yeah, take some scalps, some ears, teeth. <laughs> There's one thing I want to ask Colin before we move on to Bobo's stand-up. Um, you stole some chick's car after you had sex with her? Yeah, this was when I was down in Florida. Um, I worked at Abercrombie. <laughs> of course That's you go did. Go figure that one out. <laughs> yeah. I There's I one familiar. guy in this room that could work at Abercrombie. <laughs> I, know, I, I did it. I did it. Honestly, I, 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 I needed, see on a lot of bags. So. Uh, no. <laughs> I did it because I need some money. And then my manager, she was this hot chick, so she wanted to, to fuck. So I stole my girlfriend's car at the time in the middle of the night to go fuck <laughs> to my go manager. Fuck and man. got pulled over. You my fucked girlfriend's. your manager? It's a bad career. Wait, hold on. The, no, the, not comedy, the Abercrombie, Abercrombie manager. Oh, that's, <laughs> fine. That's, that's fine. That wasn't a career job. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> it's funny, the fucking car theft or the cheating didn't bother him. Yeah, yeah. yeah the manager. Yeah, it's the manager don't fucking. ruin your comedy career. <laughs> you know, the girl that was making $12 an hour. Right, that yeah, one. fine. Yeah, fuck yeah, Everyone her. knows <laughs> once you get Jesus. into comedy, the manager fucks you. Hey, hey, motherfucker. Hi, yo. Hi, yo. That's such a funny thing after a joke. <laughs> it's not the it's laugh true. a comic wants, but you'll take no. it. Hi How hey do you what happened now? You got pulled over. Pulled over, I got a ticket, and then I had to explain it to my girlfriend where I was going, and she found out, and I haven't seen her. She hasn't talked to me since. This was years ago. Oof. And then I saw her recently walking down the street on 14th Street. We looked at each other in the eyes, and I just like, kept on walking. She's one of those moments. Why did you say so you were sorry? Make amends. Um, I did at the time. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, I did at the time, but it's one of those things where, I don't know, you're not going to... What are you gonna say? Yeah. Why don't you? Why don't you just lie and say that you had a bad dream or you fucking needed to get out and think for a little while or anything? Because at the time I didn't think about that. I was oh, okay. So up. then when you went on to become the Hugo Boss underwear model. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> also, we have to lie because we have to keep our women. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he fucking just fucking goes. That is her. true. <laughs> oh, I was just going to fuck my manager, so I stole your car. Uh, okay, take care. <laughs> what a great way to live. I grovel if I'm watching a show she doesn't like. <laughs> yeah, this motherfucker does look like he belongs on a soap opera. Or shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking. <laughs> Are you guys ready for Bobo stand up? No. Never. All right, let's bring him in. <laughs> the comedy oh, stylings. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What else are we going to do? Are we going to get a Club Soda Kenny intro? Yeah. Also, I think Jack the Joke Man wants to come in and say hi today. Yeah, what's he up to? He's just doing shows. He did yeah. Jay Thomas. He's done a 10, and he said, yeah, I'll come in and say hi Hopping to the boys. Around. Have cool. we ever had him on the show officially? Oh, Jackie the Joke Man? I've, only, I've never met Jackie. Really? I, no, We've actually, that's not true. I worked with Jackie once years. many years ago. Man, he was actually really nice to me. People it, told me, yeah, he's a prick. And uh, he was really you know nice what? to me. Uh, he was nothing but nice to, to me the bunch of times I've met him. He seems like a real nice guy. Yeah. Is he what is, is he like a... He's like a, He used he, to work for Howard. He was on Stern Show for like 15 years. And he's then, a, uh, kind of a comedy legend. He's been around for a long time. Yeah. Just telling Kenny something. Oh, oh. This has been a fun show. It really has been. <laughs> not to, that, will, not that will end right now. Not for now. listeners, but for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those days. All right. right Are we ready for this? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to intro uh, Bobo. He'll come in with one of Jimmy's TV uh, shirts and do a little stand-up for Colin Kane and uh, the wait. great Jim Jeffries here, who, by the way, has been killing on the show the last two days. He needed uh, a compliment. I got my compliment. You got your compliment. There's your compliment. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Fished around for it. You got it. There you go. Anyway. Yeah, Jim's like, well, I'm doing my best. You know? <laughs> oh, <'cause that's>, uh, <laughs> Jim during, fucking is. Yeah, during, so, oh. yeah, yeah, Colin's doing oh. really well. Yeah. No, yeah, during the break, we go to Colin. Hey, man, you're doing real well. Because it's the first time on our show. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm so really. really yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. bro. Fucking good to. Poor Jim feels like he has like the sophomore jinx. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I don't even know what a sophomore is. Dude, I still love it. I was just Sop saying, jinx made it funny. The listeners think you're a, you're one of their favorites. For, yeah. oh, I don't need more no, compliments. I, I was joking. I, I, just, need a I am just letting I know you know I'm that. Very they good. fucking love you. Boy, they don't like uh, they don't like wish that he was here every day and I wasn't. 
No. See how the insecurity will just go around the room? <laughs> I've, 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 I've read those forums. Sometimes if I talk too much, it's like, who does he think he is? Oh, yeah. He cut that. off one of Jimmy's jokes. And you're like, oh, You're kidding, right? Yeah, that. that was me who wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> Jane Norton. Uh, <laughs> I read that. I read that. It was good. It was good uh, spelling, man. That's funny. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Who's going to intro Bobo? Kenny. Right. Kenny's the only, no one does an intro oh. like Kenny. All right, Kenny, take it away. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I couldn't be happier. Uh, Tickets on Coming the to the Opie and Anthony Show stage, please put your hands together for this next act. He's got a mangled cock and a smelly asshole. You're really going to love him. Here he is. Show him some love. Bobo. All right. Oh. Oh. I've been wa I was watching Leno last night, right and I there. noticed Sarah Palin was on, and man, I have to say, that woman's a fucking bitch. <laughs> she is the reason oh, why we're stuck with Obama. I'm pissed off that, I was pissed off that John McCain went with her as a running mate. That woman did nothing but held McCain down, all right? For one thing, <laughs> this is the reason, I think he made a mistake because... She's way too conservative, all right? Just look at her. She did a freaking, uh, she's a, she's way too conservative. And her daughter, Bristol, I have to admit she's hot. <laughs> if I would have been, if I would have been with her, You're I would have told her. You're losing her. Abort that damn thing, all right? <laughs> I'm back. I don't want to have to deal with these. <laughs> I don't know what has to deal with these payments, all right? Jesus. I don't want to deal with, I don't, I don't need to deal with these, uh, settlements, all right? I would have told Bristol, abort that thing. You I don't suck. Need, I don't need to do. Uh, hey, I don't go. I don't go to your up. job telling you that. No, but he actually is at your job. Not, <laughs> not, <laughs> I'm going to your job saying that, all right? Yeah. But I have to admit, though, Helen right, is yeah. too conservative, all right? She is way too conservative. How I cannot conservative say, is she? I cannot say it to her. She thinks oh, you're supposed to carry the burden of, of so many kids, all right? Listen, I don't care about your ideals. No, no, no. I use the rubber, and I will say, if I don't need, if I'm not ready, uh, if, if my uh, bitch ain't ready, uh, if I'm not ready uh, to handle the being a father, I would not tell funny. that uh, to uh, show uh, I got oh. the, 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 the right. I got my mine's bigger than yours. Now this stuff starts getting thrown at him. Yeah. Uh, okay. Boo. You gotta win the crowd back, man. You gotta win the crowd. Why don't you fight the crowd, man? You gotta put the propellant. You're so conservative. You're freaking so dumb. I can't believe how dumb you are. How dumb is she? She's so dumb. She doesn't have a clue. She did. <laughs> she doesn't have a clue anything past Alaska. You should have stayed in Alaska. Damn it. John McKee, you should have left Palin in Alaska and found some more experience. We don't need that. That's the reason why too many people voted for McCain over you. Enough of the Palin shit. <laughs> yeah, and then Obama. Can we agree on some sex jokes? Yeah. Some sex Move jokes. Move on. Well, Punchline. Z well, I have to admit that I I'm not so big down Z there, right? I'm not, I'm not the prettiest. I'm not the prettiest yawn. thing down there. Shut up, you epic kidding. fail. You won. <laughs> Shut up, you idiot, right? You what? what? Why aren't you fighting Shut up, back? Shut up, you what? You're not, Shut up. You're not fighting the hecklers. What did like you say? Shut up, you what? Shut up, you asshole. I don't go to your job. That's because they don't have a ramp. Uh, you are in my job. <laughs> well, not everybody has a cock as big as yours. Not everybody has a cock uh, as big as yours. Not everybody has a cock as big as yours. Not every white guy with... God well, damn it, he be, said I had a big cock, this motherfucker. Be, I'm gonna punch him when he got yeah. something you should yell at with woman, stupid. with the cock of a black guy. He's saying you never had to develop your personality because of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was yeah. quite <laughs> coming. Not every cock <laughs> with, with the cock of a black guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm a white... 
Did you hear what Colin said? I, 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 I was pretty much blessed with the cock of a white goes, guy. Bobo goes, he, <laughs> Actually, I think I was blessed with the cock of he a just, Jewish yeah, guy. Yeah. He just won't even. I was blessed with a Jewish cock. He goes, I, Bobo goes, I don't go to your work, but he doesn't answer. So Colin goes, yeah, because it doesn't have a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I was blessed with the Jewish cock. Right back into it, goes. My, yeah. my, my, my father was part Jewish. Hold on, hey, fucking wrecking ball. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one of the day that one, man. Oh, oh, so uh, uh you can move on. Come on, tell some jokes, motherfucker. Well, Dance. Well, What's well, wrong with you? Well, I have to say, I was watching Fox News. Oh, yeah? I'm freaking tired of how manipulative they are, right? You people who voted for Obama, you didn't vote for Obama because you thought he was the right person for the job. You voted for him because you were stupid enough to believe what stupid Fox News told you. I can tell you, you Fox, Fox, Fox is News conservative. is conservative. They... CNN is the boo. boo! You can't boo! Get it right. you you can't get it right. You, you, suck. Hey, you, you fucking stay. piece of shit. shit. You suck. Stage. I didn't pay for this shit. And those news channels are all the same fuck to me. This. I want a refund. Fuck refund. This. You're losing a right. bubble. You're too late. You're already paid. Fuck you. Already you're already paid. Fuck you. I fuck no you, refund. You suck at comedy. I'll be fucking bitches thanks to your money. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, be late, I'll be getting late thanks to your money. <laughs> Thank you Congratulations. Man. You just paid for my night. You just paid for me getting laid. Getting babe. a prostitute? I haven't paid for it yet. Yeah, yeah but you just <laughs> get paid. You just got paid for me losing my virginity. You just got paid I'll be for losing my virginity losing. thanks to your money. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. What a <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I'm getting uh, laid thanks oh, to your oh, money. You see me where I am right now? Yeah. In my place. In your place, yeah, 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 you have been put there properly. Yeah. I'm getting late thanks to your money. Yeah, we heard that already. Come on. And, you suck. And then the other thing, I know there's too many people who are afraid to go to say they voted for McCain when they're in a black neighborhood, but let me tell you, I ain't afraid to say I voted for Obama. You guys just vote for a black guy because he's black. You don't even look at how smart he is. So vote for the dumbest fuck. You would vote a black girl man for president. Say it. You would vote for say him. It. Say it. Come on, Michael Richards. You would vote for him if he was president. But I can tell you, I'm not that dumb. I'm not that easily manipulated by CNN and all these other fucking news channels right, that are manipulated. Move on. Jesus Christ. Be I voted for McCain. Be funny. Black. Be funny. I didn't, funny. I didn't think funny. he was going to be as political. And, and then, yeah, I know. It's very political based uh, humor. And, and then let me tell Hold you, you I've also to... been through so many surgeries. No, no, oh, we heard all that. We heard all that. Do you have so do many do surgeries? Bobo, do your racist material. And I did, I did that part already. No. That's in the same category as the Obama thing. No, you don't. No, you don't, no, you don't, no, no. no you, you've, you've done a lot of racist material on our show over the years, but you can break out some of the old stuff about well, the delis. I'll, 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 I'll tell you something. Delis? I've noticed. Yeah. I've noticed lately when I when I was taking a bus this morning, uh, a few days what ago. What size was the bus? Bus. <laughs> 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 pretty much normal, like bus trip. But I noticed they use these brand new buses, and they have these things that don't make sense. What's they that? got these announcer. They got these computerized announcements, which I like. That's actually, just your friend and he's speaking no, no, spell. No, 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 no. no. I, I think it's better than many things that are clearer, but I don't. I can understand on the subways that they, they need announcements, but they don't need fucking announcements on a bus. I can the hear show? the driver. Oh, no, these drivers there. yell. This is terrible. I'm not moving. This is horrible. I can hear it quite clearly when they say, I'm not moving this bus one bit unless you move bull right, the, right, no, you're right not before funny. the other line. Do you but understand say, you're just babbling about like I, here's your act, here's your act. And then I go I went into the elevator and hit three and I got out on the third floor and I walked <laughs> down the hallway and you're just talking. There's no <laughs> jokes here. There's well, nothing funny about anything you're saying. What? Anything. You're doing Steve Martin. What are you doing? <laughs> Trains, planes, and automobiles. You finally had it. I had you, it with him. Right, Bobo, you listen. We my got, wife likes me. I like me. You don't need to say the doors are no opening. Bobo, we're packing your stuff up. because we got up. We got Jackie the Joke Man. Do you do any impersonations? No, no, no. We got to move on because Jackie's here, man. Where's Jackie? Jackie's outside the studio, Bobo. Why don't well, bring you, him in. Just bring Jackie. He can't make him work. Damn. Why don't you, why don't you uh, sit down there, Bobo? Are you saying... Yeah, Bobo, take a goddamn seat. Yeah, take a seat. Dude. Yeah. You're a mess. Yeah, we're... Uh... It was all right. Oh, you're going to do that at the fucking... Put your heels up.
You're doing that at the comedy club? Yeah. And that, one, that one I'm not doing. That one you're not doing? You're not doing that one? It's the material he's working on. That's his, yeah. Yeah, it's that's only, his, you're only seeing the seed of what it could be. Oh, that's yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In, in front of... You don't want to spoil anything. Over a million people. people. Probably half of them actually. Oh, we're we're, 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 all, we're all comedians, so we're hypercritical as well. That's true. Oh, my God. I'm going to use the better material, right? Yeah. You did good, Bob. You're going to have to lift the microphone up, mate. Good, Bob. I'm going to use the better Better material. You did good, Bobo. Yeah. Good, Bobo. Good. I'm, I'm gonna use. You it did good, Bobo. Good, Bobo. Good. It's like the commercial board. Good, Bobo. Good. 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 You, they yeah. had that where you in the UK? It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the I end of the TV was... show. It's a production company, wasn't okay, it? So right. if we got the same TV yeah. show. Yeah. I knew that. It sounds like it sounds like Bobo like good child's book. Like Bobo tell jokes. Bobo, Bobo, Bobo goes jokes. to the big circus. Yeah, Bobo has infected penis. Bobo would get hooker. <laughs> yeah, were you happy with that routine, Bobo? I was happy with it, except for, except for having me use some of the B stuff. Because I'm not so thrilled about you doing that whole bit about the bus, all right? Because that's not one of my better stuff, all right? How many minutes of material do you think you have all up? A couple hours. Well, I, I can He's ready up, for an I HBO special. With a half hour. I can come up with 40 minutes worth of stuff. Yeah. I, I believe me, yeah. I spent time getting ready for this stuff. Oh, right? you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can tell. You, you oh, no, up? no, no. You, well, hold on, guys. Stuff, I was just using some of... Hold on, we got Brittany on the line. I, 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 I assume he has a lot of spare time. Yeah. Hi, Brittany. Hi, how can you do this to poor Bobo? I mean, he doesn't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Yep. And you're totally exploiting him and making fun of him. Like, I, what the fuck are you guys doing? I agree. You, exactly. sound, you sound hot, Brittany. I agree. I agree. I, I feel terrible, and it's going to ruin my weekend. It's kind of weird. We all feel terrible mm -hmm. about it. Brittany. Yeah. I feel so you horrible about the, this. Yep. Like, what? he doesn't even know what the fuck he's saying. You guys are just going I know. But we're going to buy him a hooker, so he swings and roundabouts. Brittany, maybe you're not falling in the bracket of the demo. What, how old are you? I'm 19. Oh. Brittany, 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 Brittany let, me, let me tell you something. I'll, I Send feel very bad there. about this. Uh, maybe you could teach me how to be more human at my house uh, this weekend. No, no, fuck you, man. Like, All what? right, she's right. If you want to fuck? Feel? How would you feel if you had a child what? that came out retarded? And what? You had people How would he feel? He'd, he'd take up his karate kicking skills again. Because yeah. <laughs> he missed exactly. the first yeah. time. What's the matter, Brittany? Does his hit too, yeah. too close to home? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have somebody who's a little slow in your family? You'd feel like you should have cut the cord a bit sooner. <laughs> no, no, Brittany, what's the problem? I, I think you're right, dear. You're 19. Uh, how, wh wh who do you look like as far as celebrity goes? Everyone looks like one. Well, I don't fucking know. Uh, who doesn't people? Don't people tell you like, hey, you look like such and such a celebrity? Yeah. I've been told that I look like Snooki. Uh, oh, yeah. the Jersey Shore. Oh, yeah. let's, yeah. hope, let's hope you get treated like her. I understand your empathy now because you look retarded as well. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, fuck yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you're right, Brendan. So, yeah, I'll be yeah. Caroline's sure? all weekend if you want to come. Yeah, Snooki's not a good looking girl. Are you, you short know that, right? and squat and fat like Snooki? What? Are you short, squat, and fat like Snooki? No, she's not short and fat and squat either. She, she is. is too. Yeah, she she's is. Tall yeah. She's got the shape of a stegosaurus. Oh, girls that have like a little, a little bit of a figure on them. She's like a stump. Oh, you have girl. a little bit of a figure. She has a body like uh, uh, the what's, Tasmanian what's, devil. What's, what size tits <laughs> you got? What size? You, 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 what, what top size are you? What? What? <laughs> yeah. What? How, how's your top? Yeah, we're trying oh, to find out. How, we're trying to find out how big your tits what are. What kind of question is that? It's a fucking right, reason. It's fine. I'll Brit play along with it. They're fucking F cup. F cup. F cup. Jesus. Yeah, your tits probably smell like lamb underneath. F cup. It sounds like it sounds like it sounds like a cop show. Yeah. yeah. F cup. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're huge. You don't have you don't have an F cup and and you're petite. And so what's your what's your waist size? If you got an F cup, what's your waist size? I'm not telling you my fucking legs. Oh, but you no, tell yeah. us your tits size. Tell us your tits size. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Well, I'm 5'4", so whatever. How much you weigh? I don't know if that helps. <laughs> oh, yeah, how much you weigh? That's a good question. Yeah, come on. 130. All right, cool. So that right, means so 140, 140 and she's 5'3". 145, 5'3". Right, cool. <laughs> Jackie! <Right. laughs> Perfect timing. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, right, Jackie? Good, good to see you, buddy. Jackie? It's been a while. What's up, man? Many moons. Yeah, it's been right. a while. Oh, are you still cooking? Yeah, right. things are good. That, that girl, she came on with all yeah, the good intentions. I know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Bobo's going to fucking right. chime in. We, we, we've we've put the before. paper down the floor in case <laughs> Bobo shits himself. Jackie would be the least likely person I would expect to find on the Opie and Anthony show. Why but... is that, Bobo? You're going to bring up, like, fucking I what? I don't know. I would... I would... I would be. Elite. I just walked in here, and you just start breaking my balls already. Yeah, I'm right. a nice enough guy to walk in here, see yeah, my friends. That's yeah. right. I, I and right got, away, you're getting fucking fresh. Bubba. We have no problems I, I, with Jackie the Joke Man whatsoever. Why are you talking shit, Bubba? Yeah. No, why are you talking know, shit? Well, I got, I got the mad respect for Jackie. He's very funny, but I would, I, I would be least likely to expect a guy that's become more associated with Howard to show up here. Why? We've know, had, a, we've had Howard guys on our show, Bubba. Yeah, I know. I that, just but... did Jay Thomas. I have yeah. my own show on uh, Howard One Hundred One. Yeah. I'm on, I'm a serious guy, and these guys yeah. are serious guys, and we're old friends. Yeah, how about we yank from Bobo out of the studio? Uh, no, no, I got I got good respect for Jackie. <laughs> good respect, <laughs> not just respect. Oh no! Wait a minute! Wait! Uh, did uh, they just physically? Uh, no, no. You didn't remove him. You, 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 you dragged you, him. You can't manhandle a retard. It's just it's I didn't just, do it. That should be a command. I just said we need to get him out of the studio. That looked very wrong <laughs> to me. Club oh, Soda Kenny. That, no, I just totally right. dragged him out of the uh, That room. was horrible. That really was bad. Oh, no, I, that had nothing, I had nothing to do with that. No, you know that. Absolutely not. I caused none of this. No. Nothing. No, no, no. I walked in. They yeah. invited me, I walked in. That was yeah. all what you did. What the hell have I done wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said anything funny, I haven't said anything dull, I haven't done anything except watch... Except Who is for, that? Except for cause or <laughs> is Bobo. You caused a retard to be thrown out on his ass, yeah, friend. Jack, you I hope you feel bad about yourself. I hope Kenny didn't grab his arm Because we have a couple of foot pounds of pressure per square inch. I just hope these guys don't say, gee, I'd like to see Jackie dragged out of the studio. <laughs> no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Jackie, it's fine. He's cool. Yeah, Who he's, is he? He's just the guy that comes guy. in he's... every so often on Friday and, and t yeah. uh, he's a. Uh, he I wish to, to a, shake his he hand. It was like shaking a marshmallow. You don't want to. You shouldn't to shake that head. <laughs> he you didn't know it's been all day sanitized. Remember wow. your years on Howard's show? Yes, I do. Uh, you've seen a million of those. Yeah, yeah. So that was not one of you, or it was one of them. Yeah, it's one yeah. of those. Yeah. That's yeah. One of those. Your, your, your Opie and Anthony whack pack. One of them. Yeah, it's one yeah. of those guys. You, yeah. know, yeah. you know the deal. He's fine. Whew. I noticed he had a comfortable chair, though. I noticed that. <laughs> I know. You're, you're sitting on the chair. Yeah. 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 He's, he's got a chaise longue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here. Do you want to switch? you want to sit there? No. <laughs> fuck no. He, he was sitting there. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to Only the best for us. They gave us the best couch. He may have urinated. So, hi, guys. I always wonder what was behind this curtain. The curtains are always closed. I wonder what the hell's going on in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sirius doesn't like us uh, having any kind of pornography on the uh, screens uh, with the windows open. And since we pretty much constantly have pornography on the screens, well, we okay. have to keep it shut. I understand. I understand. Yeah. You look very healthy. You look like you lost weight. Man. I really lost uh, 55 pounds, wow. and I'm ready for my yes. close-up. And... Uh, Wow. I'm having fun. I, you know, I quit drinking a long time ago, and I thought that was going to be my deal with the devil. I was going to get a perfect body. And you forget when you quit drinking, you start eating. Right. So I was a big fat. So the best way to lose a lot of weight is to get real fat. So I was like 215. <laughs> and in yeah. the summer, my girlfriend said, you're too fat. And I just said, well, fuck this. I'm going to, you know, wow. I, I, all I did was ride my bike and, and eat like a human. You know, all the billions of dollars on the stupid diets. The secret is to not eat a lot. That's... They could spend billions of dollars and jump through all these fucking hoops and it just don't eat so much, you know, and <laughs> and I and it falls off, you know. Where are you living? Are you I met you I think once with Colin. Did you used to live in his building? Yeah, we okay. we, we live together. No, we <laughs> live we live in the same place and uh, and I live out in Bayville on yeah. Long Island. Oh, you're still there? Sure. Oh yeah. So oh, I get, you know, man. and I commute at night and smoke pot, and I got a great life. <laughs> if, if I wasn't out of money, I'd have the greatest yeah. life in the world. I don't work, you know, that stern money will last forever. And you know what today is? Forever. Forever. <laughs> you made it to forever. You know, if you keep spending it, you wind up having less. Did you ever know yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. No way. Yeah, you know, you, yeah, I was making bullshit. so much money, and I know you guys can relate to this. Definitely. I was making so much money. 
keep talking. And, yeah. and you spend it, and you have a great time, and then I quit my job, and I was like, well, I'll just change my lifestyle. You can't. Mm. And then you go out to dinner and say, well, I'll start tomorrow. And then you buy this. and it, Like, I'm going to the Cannes Film Festival. It's cost me a billion dollars. I can't. People's like, how do you afford that? I can't fucking afford it, but I'm going. Because <laughs> I'm, sca I'm so scared I'm going to die with money in the bank. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, zero balance when you drop that. Yeah, I want to I want to yep. spend my last $20 tipping the guy as he throws me in the fucking hole, you know. <laughs> but uh you just don't change your lifestyle. You well, just you're... keep spending and spending and spending cuz it's fun, you know. Mm -hmm. But the, what's the sense of piling up some money if you can't go through the pile? You know? How long did it take you to kind of go through it? It's been like 8 years. I'm wow. not quite done. Hey, that long? I'm not quite already? done. Jesus. You know, Christ. I made a real lot of money the last two years, and a decent amount of money the three years. You know what I mean? I made very little. Everybody knows how much I screamed and yelled and bitched and walked out of the show to try and make really? money. If I hadn't have screamed and yelled <laughs> all those times, I would have never gotten into the ballpark where I was making decent money. You I know? So I didn't make a lot of money for 15 years. I made a lot of money for... Two years. I remember the For Our Own Purposes letter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I went on. That was a good one. Do you one. want to... The, the greatest, his letters on the air. The greatest like negotiation. It was great. I, I don't... Stop me if this is too boring for your oh, show, because I don't know no, your show. No, don't, don't worry about I it. I used to go on the road, <laughs> and so I befriend everybody I meet. So I go to the affiliates, you know, and I'd always do shows. I was like the ambassador. I would do, I'd do stand-up anywhere, because they always wagged a lot of money. And I was making enough money on the show. I didn't need to do stand up. But you know, you do stand up for no money. All of a sudden they waggle money. Yeah. You can't say no because you know someday you're going to be where I am now, you know. <laughs> so I go to this, this place and the general manager becomes my friend and he explains to me how much money they spend and they tell me all the details. And it turned out that it was a quarter million dollars to have the Howard Stern show. No matter how small you were, they didn't start talking to you to you unless it was a quarter of a million dollars wow. so i knew that that's how much they got per affiliate so it came up time for my contract i was making 300 grand and they offered me a 10 percent raise Jesus. and i said i don't want a 10 percent raise and tom chisano said how much do you want and i said a hundred thousand dollars and he fell off the chair now this friend of mine said listen when you go on stage you tell jokes that's what you do. That's your job description. Your general manager, his job description is you walk in and ask for a raise, <laughs> he falls off his chair. Yeah, That's his job. Yeah. Now, since I had, it had been two years since my contract, and we had added 10 affiliates. Now, I know that the smallest affiliate is a quarter of a million dollars, even though a bunch of them were a lot bigger. So I know there's 10 affiliates at a quarter million dollars. So I thought to myself, Ten thousand dollars per affiliate. Okay, that's one twenty fifth. I'm one twenty fifth of the Stern Show. I gotta be right. So I figured ten new markets, ten thousand dollars times ten, a hundred thousand dollars made sense. I go into Tom Chisano. This is so fucking beautiful. I walk and I love him, but I sat down, and he and I said, he said, how much you want? I said, a hundred thousand dollar raise, and he fell off his chair and he said, where did you come up? <laughs> with a figure like a hundred thousand dollars i said it's very simple i know that every affiliate is at least a quarter million dollars and i figure i'm one twenty-fifth of the show which is ten grand times ten affiliates a hundred grand and he looks at me and he goes jackie one twenty-fifth of two hundred fifty thousand dollars is not ten thousand dollars I said, do the math, and he turned sideways, <laughs> turned on his landing machine, and did two hundred fifty thousand dollars in one twenty-fifth, and his shoulders fell three inches. <laughs> it was the greatest negotiation. What's like? Because he didn't say you're crazy or that's too much money. He told me my math was wrong, that's and it wasn't. And he was like, "Well, you're gonna go have to talk to Don and Mel." You know? <laughs> yeah. Did you get it? That, uh, it, it's it's such a classic. I walked in and Mel, I, I don't care if I should be talking about this. And Mel wrote down the five year deal and added it up, so I'd be walking away from not that year's money, but the five year figure, which was staggering to me at the time. And I said, you know what? That's a beautiful offer, and I love it, and I love working here. But I drew a line in the sand for myself, and I said, if I can't make four hundred, I'm leaving. And I left. And wait, Jackie, uh, I gotta jump in for one second. I have right. someone has to say this. He has no agent. Uh, uh what? Uh, no, I don't care about that. I, uh, should that, I not be talking about this? Oh, yeah. What? 
Oh, with the money no, thing? No, no, no. This is great. past stuff. He can yeah, talk about past yeah, stuff. Fucking great. Jackie, what I have to say is, because we've heard the rumors over the years, you were making only... I, I have to say it. Only three hundred thousand. You were a huge part of that show. And no, no, this is not. Le this is not the last negotiation. This is a couple of negotiations this ago. Is earlier. This is way yeah, earlier. Even so. Even so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's more than reasonable to give you a, a hundred thousand dollars. Is what I'm saying. Sure. Oh, I'm trying to stick up for you. Uh, oh, yeah. Please. More than reasonable because we all. I mean, I, I'm trying to be. I, I'm really trying to be cool here. I don't want to blow up anyone's spot, but I mean, everyone knew how much he was making, and everyone knew how important you were to that show. So, so I'm thinking a hundred thousand. It's a the classic. You would think. <laughs> yeah, All right, you would that, think. but th someone has to say that for you. Oh, I know, and thank I don't you. Want, I don't want you to say it. I thought you were asking for uh, a million. Well, you know, years later, like when I at one negotiation, when I told Dominic Barbara what I was asking for, he he said he had to pull off on over on the side of the road because he couldn't believe how small the figure was. That's oh, a small really? You know what I mean? I mean, so it's, Jackie, you actually went in negotiate. Jackie, you're obviously a very honest guy because you could sit there with Mel without going through an agent. I wouldn't have the boss to do that and just go look. This is you know, they screamed at me for not having an agent, so then I got a lawyer, and then they instantly hated the lawyer. You know, it's a lot of it's theater, but uh, it was very interesting. But what, I walked out, and right. I was done, and and then Howard called me up and said, listen, I got to have you, and he paid the difference. Okay, good. Well, he wow. actually paid, he paid wow, the difference. And I, and I love the show, and I never had any problem. But And my last time when I left, it was like, I don't know, but I'm such a hypocrite. Because you draw a line in, your, in the sand, like if somebody said, Jim, do you want to work a job in Alaska? You don't want to work the job, but instead of saying no, you say 150 grand. If they give you the 150 grand, fuck it, I'm going to Alaska. Right. So I drew a line in the sand for myself and said, I'm going to stick to this. And when I said what I wanted and when I didn't get it, I didn't do it. But then I called back a couple of months later and said, listen, if you give me the offer you offered, I will take it. So I'm a hypocrite. Oh. But, but I was the guy that broke up the Beatles. I felt like an asshole, you know. But you you got to draw a line in the sand and just say, this is, you know, yeah. this is where I was. You, you have regrets yeah, I was about ask, that? Yeah, no, that's I, the final one. And everybody is for eight years has been saying, yeah. we want to hear you say you regret it. Howard wants uh, to hear me say, I, I don't, man, I, I've been having the time of a lifetime for eight years. I got divorced. I yeah. left my job. I quit drinking and moved into a home by myself all at the same time. And any one of those is enough. Any one of those, they say, if you're going to quit drinking, don't change anything else. If you're going to quit your job, don't change anything. And I did all four at the same time. You know, what doesn't mm. kill you makes you stronger. Right. Turn, turn me into an idiot. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> for, for eight years, I've been going to Cannes Film Festival and Toronto and Sundance and trying of you, to get... Of your life. Just, you're broke, but you're having the time <laughs> of your you life. You know, it's, it's, it it's a... wonderful. And if people want me to say, oh, I left the grace. You know, and it's you nice. know how fucking hard it is these hours? I was, <laughs> I was going to die. Hard. I could have never quit drinking. I couldn't... Imagine me trying to get divorced on that show. They oh, would have oh. pulled my wife over the parking lot spikes backwards. I don't care what they did to me, because you know I never cared what they yeah. did to me. You know, I used to tell people half the shit that Howard said about me I wrote. People couldn't wrap their brain around that. <laughs> you know, like, here, here, say, here. That. Jackie's an asshole. That. Here, say that. Jackie's an asshole. So you, uh, Howard and Giggs, man, you're still going out doing gigs, right? Still doing, you still performing. Oh, yeah, 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 you know. And he's got a show on you know, uh, Sirius XM. For the, you know. One hundredth of what I used to, make. but you, you love it. You know, you do it. You, that's what we're lifers. That's and what's what your show friend, about on Sirius XM? Dirty jokes. An hour of dirty jokes. <laughs> we just did our hundred and sixty fourth show. Wow! And it's an hour of dirty jokes. You know, we we all tell a joke. The opening salvo. We tell a joke. The guests tell a joke. Then we have jokes that we uh, set ups for two line jokes, and then we uh, give the answers the next week and call us calling it's just the stupidest most fun <laughs> it's the most fun i've ever had on the radio it's an hour of stupid jokes how many do you i, I literally i'm a horrible joke teller like like the type of like like a setup of uh, you know and, and then the jew says i'm the fucking horrible at that it's most comedians the, well, mm. there's two things you don't do you don't tell jokes and you don't laugh at yourself and i broke i break both rules that's why i've never gotten anywhere but i fucking <laughs> love it that's all i do i didn't go looking for an act i told jokes my whole life and i was a musician I was shitty, You're and I quit music when I was 31, and I had all these jokes, and I didn't want to leave the stage, so I just started telling the jokes on stage and ran into a couple of comics. And we, I helped start the yeah. start I, comedy on Long Island. I, I, we did a show at Cinnamon, next to, oh, two sure. doors away from your brother, yeah. 
uh, at the corner of Main Street and 110, and, well, and that grew into the East Side Comedy Club, the first comedy club. Yeah. You can say F.H. Riley's in the heart of Huntington Village. No one will mind. <laughs> no one will mind. I've I'll... dragged people there after my show. Oh, really? Thank Thanks, you, Jack. Brother. I appreciate yeah. that. I, I tell you, his cadence is so good. When I'm flipping around Sirius XM and you're on, w w w w I don't know. A raw dog or something Most like Most likely raw dog. I stop every single time and listen, man. Oh, every, that's sweet, I, man. It, it's just something about your your cadence. But, it, and it, you know it, what it, it is. It catches your attention. You're like, i got to listen to this for a little while. But it's it's the same old shit. You know, in 1979, I said, you know what? I just got to fill up albums with jokes because everybody's not going to want it. But everybody didn't have to want it. You know, everybody doesn't like opera. But if you want a collection of dirty jokes, I said, God, if it's one person out of 100, I'll do great. It wasn't. It's like more one, one person out of every 10 million. So, so I never <laughs> sold any albums. But the whole point, I'm one of the most requested guys on Raw Dog because you listen to Jim Norton, you listen to Sam Kennison, you listen to George Carlin, you're screaming, laughing, but you can't get out of the truck and go say something. You listen to you guys for 20 minutes, then you hear three dick jokes from Jackie, the guy can get out of the car and go into the <laughs> deli and tell one of the fucking jokes. So they love me. You know, I mean, it's got nothing to do with me. I'm just a conduit to get the stupid jokes to people, which is what I've always been, you know. Did you have any, when you, when you, when you, because we were off the air for two years, it was fucking. Oh, it was brutal. I, it was different circumstances, brutal. but I just felt like I will never recover from this. I finally had something that allowed me to be to, to to draw an audience. Did you have any regret? Like even though it might have passed, did you have any depression or any of the stuff of like fuck like like uh like just wishing you hadn't done it? There, there was no regret that I wish I hadn't done it. But the one thing that's the most obvious thing that never dawned on me is to sit in that room. With Fred Norris is the quickest, fastest, funniest, most talented person in the world. Nobody knows yeah. how unbelievable. You know, you start saying a sentence to him before you get to the end of the sentence, he's making it, saying something funny about it, and smart and witty. And being with Fred and Howard and Robin for 15 years, it's an unnatural situation to be sitting in a room for four hours laughing. You'd sit there and laugh and laugh, and you didn't even realize how much that's doing for your head or how fucking wonderful that was. And that's what I miss, not the money, not the fame. Mm -hmm. It's eight years later. They still play me so much on that thing. I'm <laughs> as famous walking down the street. As many people know me now as knew me eight years ago. It's never fallen off. Not that a lot of people know me, but no, as I, many. I, I yeah, 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 it's a very small amount of fame. It's a comfortable amount of fame. But the, but sitting there and just, you know, guys, you sit yeah, here yeah. and laugh. It's like, wow. I don't have that anymore. Well, that That's why I want to go in and sit down with people. That's what I, I could care less about the negotiation or anything, but the regret is, you know, you go to a bar and sit with a, a few guys and shoot the shit for, for a couple hours and tell a bunch of jokes. I get the same jizz, the same jizz, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the problem when we got, uh, fired for two years. Uh, we were being you paid. We were being paid. But fuck but it, the money. It wasn't even about the fucking money. Not, a, was, not even a little bit. It's it was being in this. Wanting to fucking hang out. Yeah, Opie, bullshit. why don't you come over and let's sit and laugh for three yeah, hours? We, yes, we, exactly. get on the phone, we get on the phone and do a show for... For two us. Pe two people <laughs> for us. We're flipping through channels we're just making jokes and, and laughing. Like, you don't even realize you're doing it. Like, yeah. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. It's like, boy, this would have been show. funny for a few million instead of two. <laughs> and, and I, I must have the lost, same feel. I lost both of their numbers and immediately hopped on Colin Quinn's <laughs> fucking coattail. <laughs> wow, what a coattail that was. Well, I know. understand Jesus that. Christ. Right into a brick wall we ran. <laughs> <laughs> how long ago was this? How long ago did you lose the show for? Uh, that was August uh, of 2002. It's been a while now, but 2002 to 2005. Is this the infamous church show? Yeah. I don't know. It was two, ye two years. Two years, three months. Two, two, two years, three months. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. No compete. They made it. They made the so show. We tried to get out of the contract because we had get... we had Clear Channel ready to go. Did you just They're... drink all that? Hold on, doing... I'm telling yeah, Jackie something here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Clear Channel had us ready to go. They we they were ready to throw. Us I on never board. understood that non compete. And, just, I don't know. and they said such horseshit. They wanted control. They knew we would maybe hurt you know the company a little bit if we went somewhere else. So they said no. Which is flattering. It was. It was very flattering. But flattering. And money and all that is not sitting around laughing and having the time of your life. After a while, you realize like everybody you know is working, so there's no one to hang out with. You're just, yeah. you know, you wake up and go, ah, I'll grab a couple of beers. <laughs> all right, listen, I'm, I'm most famous for one thing. So, March 12th and 13th, <laughs> I'm going to be at the Boca Raton New York Comedy Club. Do you work down there? It's a great to Don Siegel in the gang. I think I've done it years ago. It's a, it's a, uh, you know, it, it, I'm back there. <laughs> it's sure. a New York Comedy Club, and Monday night I'm playing and singing five of my original songs at Morell's in uh, 
in Westbury and Long Island. You guys are probably too young. You don't remember a place called My Father's Place. Oh, of hell yeah. yeah. Well, th- this Morell's was started by Epi Epstein. Oh, good old but Epi. I don't think he's part of it anymore. You know, he, every place he goes, he's there for a week. I saw a soft white underbelly at my father's place. Yeah, they, that was the Blue Oyster under Cult. The, uh, viaduct over there. Yeah, yeah it was great. But you know. Blue Oyster Cult used to play there, but they didn't want everyone to know, so they went as soft white underbelly. Do you know Epi is the reason I'm a comedian? Because Epi was such a cheap fuck <laughs> that my band, what, I had a terrible band on Long Island. We were two piece, three piece. We added a piano player, but we, you know, we were horrible. But people liked us. We were fun. I told jokes. We, you know, blah, blah, blah. And when we got to play at my father's place, it was a big deal. We'd tell all our friends and fans, please come to my father's place. We'll play my father's place. It was like uh, dust was Madison Square deal. Garden. Yeah. So Epi sandwiched in gong show auditions at seven o'clock. <laughs> So we could make a couple extra bucks from ABC. And I, I, before our show, I'm watching, and I see Richie Minervini mm-hmm. and Jim Myers auditioning for the gong show. And I'm like, come here. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm as funny as those oh, guys. I and I walked up this. to Minervini. I said, how would you be a, get to be a comedian? And he says to me, simple. I had cards printed up. And I still have the <laughs> Swear to you, it's, I got it on my website. He hands me the card. It's a little picture of Betty Boop. And it was Patty Smith's mother was a... Was a uh, a booker, and he said, you should come over to Dixon's White House Inn. They stayed and watched my band. They loved me, and I went to Dixon's and met Bob Nelson and Eddie Murphy and Minervini, and I became a comedian because of stupid Epi. Wow. You know, and, and, uh, this place, yeah. and so Morell's is is an outshoot of oh, my father's play. It's called Songs from the Hive, and I'm playing some songs, and that's very exciting for me to get to revisit my. It's like revisiting an old girlfriend that slammed the door in my face. You know, <laughs> I was actually booked in East Side the week it closed. I went there, and they, ah. now they didn't tell me it was closed. I actually got there, and there was literally a padlock on the door. Wow. Well, you know, they did, they literally came in and took. The cash register and the tables and the yeah, chairs, the whole thing. Ended you know, a little weird. Yeah, there were some issues place. there. I yeah. think that yeah. somebody had to check into something. And you know, who used to wash dish. That was the new East Side in Farmingdale. The East Side in Huntington. You know who the dishwasher was? Hmm. Judd Apatow. No, oh, really. Yeah, I've heard honest that. to God, honest to God. He loves he loves stand up. Obviously, it's he, great fun. That's all we talked about when he came in here. I mean, he really. I would love to meet that guy. What a character! He was huh? he was great. He really. Have was you had Minervini on here? He's a good egg too. He's I haven't seen Minervini in years. Did he move to Florida? Yeah. But, well, he lives. He lived in. Uh, in the Carolinas for a while. He's all over the place. I haven't be. seen him or Al Romas or any of those guys that were out on, uh, was it Romas on Long Island too? I, I haven't seen that guy in 20 years. I don't know anything about him. But Minervini and me are still asshole buddies from forever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, my friend Adam, Adam Ferrar started at Eastside. Yeah, too. He oh, he's like a great character. First, uh, yeah, first gig, he did an open mic thing or a, uh, a contest that they were holding something and uh, got up there killed. When he was very young, we did a roast uh, for somebody and... Uh, I had just met him, and I really liked him. You know, the kind of guy. I liked him right away. And uh, I went up and said, uh, you know, they say you are what you eat. You are what you eat. So I guess Adam Ferrara is a cunt. And he went around for a year going, Marlon, call me a cunt. That's great. Marlon, call me a cunt. You know. <laughs> see him enjoying that. <laughs> We're going to have to remind Adam of that. Yeah, see exactly. That. <laughs> and now you, and just- you came up with Eddie Murphy, right? Yeah, he, he did some time. We were just talking about it. He was like 15 years old. He said, I'm going to be bigger than the Beatles. He mm. said that. I'm going to be bigger. I, I put out an album in like 1979. Never was. Before there was even an East Side. I, I recorded an album at Cinnamon on a cassette. And Eddie came up to me like at, right after the East Side opened. He said, Dak, you have an album? I want to have an album. And I said... I'd love to help you, Eddie, but I'm too busy. (laughs) I got got a list of shit like that. (laughs) Mistakes I have made. I should write a book. Mistakes I have made. Sorry, Eddie, too busy. He he owns an island. Eddie Murphy owns an island. Does he? Yeah, owns an island. He's still making 50 million million a year, I think. Why why are you rubbing it? Jackie doesn't even know where his next meal is coming from. I can't get a fucking gig, and Eddie Murphy's got that. Fuck you. Is that story about... Jackie's working the island. Sometimes. When he can get the gig... <laughs> is that story about Bob Nelson true? Because Bob, I don't know either. I think I met him once. Where, He's a where great it guy. Really, it really affected him when Eddie went through the roof. Did it affect him badly? You know, but that's like people saying, "Oh, Jackie wrecked his life when he left the Stern Show." It's that's the easiest place for people to go. You know, there was they they were the identical triplets: Bob Nelson, R- Rob Bartlett, and Eddie Murphy. You know, with Eddie being black, the, the, that was the laugh that they were the identical triplets. And then they plucked Eddie out. They need, and Rob Bartlett still complains because he told Eddie, "Hey, they're auditioning people for Saturday Night Live," and Eddie got the gig. 
But no, especially Nelson. There's nobody nicer than him. He, he couldn't have been more thrilled for the guy's success. Okay. You know, just so easy to say, oh, they're bitter. You know, this yeah. guy's bitter about that. This guy's bitter. About, you know, mm. please. It, God, if I was bitter about everybody I knew, you know, I did that movie Comedy's Dirtiest Dozen. A dozen comedians and eleven of them got sitcoms, and I'm sitting here talking to <laughs> oh, fucking shit. Opie and Anthony. You know. <laughs> well, ten of them. Otto, Otto was on that. He didn't uh, get it. Oh yeah, I forgot Otto. Yeah, George got one though. How was Otto doing? <laughs> he was here the other day. He was great. Is he good? Is he healthy? He, yeah, much healthier. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's he like, looks uh, way better. Yeah, he looks way really better. good. Looks he's like he might have figured some some, some things out, uh, if you know what I mean. That's good. <laughs> yeah. That's good. He buries me, man. Well, I, who, he is who so am I? He buries everybody, man. Jesus Christ! You were doing a better together. Ridiculous, funny. In uh, Jersey, he's still he's still fucking hilarious. He's still uh, he's everything is the same except he's healthier and he's well, doing that's good. That's great, you know. He's you know. That, 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 that's, there's no words. It's just uh, I've always wanted to do a documentary on him, and I even I, I told him, and uh, and he was even into it. And I you know, but I don't have any funds. I don't got any, you know. If, I'm like everybody. If I only knew somebody with some money, I could make a lot of it. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like, please. Apparently. His house, he's got an amazing auto in his place in Keensburg. He's got like an amazing bunch of photos from his whole career from when he was seven years old performing from when he was 10 in, hand. in front of the fucking, yeah, in front of the building that's in the King of Comedy, which is now the Paramount building. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Or it might be the MTV right, right, building right, right. doing street comedy. And he's the mobs are stabbing his hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's he, he, he had Lennon threw money in his hat one time uh, in Central yeah. Park. John Lennon watched him perform. He's got the best story. How come nobody's uh, made that's a amazing. documentary of him yet? Why? Because right, he didn't show up. They said <laughs> we we're going to start filming. They went, ah, you must And they went, all right, sorry. Yeah. Press sabotage this. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I actually gave him a line. I gave him a line and he used it in comedy's dirtiest dozen it's one of the you know all the millions of jokes i ever wrote for howard i was so thrilled because he's Eddie. kenny <laughs> holy <laughs> fuck how are you man <laughs> wait jackie <laughs> he's our bitch now wait jackie he was the one who dragged bobo out you didn't notice <laughs> yeah. oh was that you <laughs> yeah you security guard bass this is club soda kenny for anybody who's paying yeah. attention oh, yeah. what did you used to work for stern kenny or, or, or? no uh yeah. dice dice all oh, right, right a little right. dice action yeah. Who's coming yeah. back next week? <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt your story. Oh, Kenny, why don't you? What? Are you you why don't probably you bailed me out of a bad story. Sit down with, with yeah, a retard chair, Kenny. Sit down in the retard chair. That is appropriate for Kenny. Kenny, got any good Jackie stories? I, I love Jack. Hold on, I gotta get another mic. Oh, yeah. Why would the mic yeah. off? Why is the mic off when somebody <laughs> says they I love me, Opie? I don't know. That, that was pretty convenient, wasn't it? <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> Kenny, he'll say it again. Me and Jack <laughs> used to spend a lot of time together at Rascals in West Orange. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was that, that, that was maybe like the, the best club. Like two men, like two yeah. men, like two men, a couple yeah. of men. Jackie, you know, he'd be down there, he'd, he'd chasing who is. Give away his T-shirts, uh, you know, but nobody could stump him. But he give away the T-shirts anyway. anyway. He was nice about <laughs> it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know who did the best job of breaking my butt? You know, in 1979, I made an album, so I had albums. Nobody had in those days. Nobody had them, and I'm down in Fort Lauderdale, and I used to at the end of the show, I used to stand there in in the, you know, in the bar. And people would buy my albums for five bucks a piece, you know, and, but nobody else sold anything. It was unheard of. And the comedians would break my balls and break my balls. And at the end of the night, they'd say, wait a minute, he's got an extra 50 bucks to go out. And all of a sudden it's like, wait, that's not so funny. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, great fun to have, to have the stuff to sell. And I completely forgot. I'm, I'm old now, and I completely forgot the point. Of, oh, so, so Sinbad. I used to be on the road with Sinbad, and Sinbad called the Stern Show years later, and he goes, "Yeah, I remember working with Jackie. He was always by the door selling his knickknacks." <laughs> I thought it was the greatest thing for CDs and shit. Knickknacks. It was great to have extra cash, though, right? The Jesus the Christ! Week. You know, the, the first time I worked at Pips, my album had just come out, and I worked at Pips. And the first show, I sold 15 albums. So I had $75, and I probably got 40 bucks for the gig. And I was like, this is the smartest thing I ever did. I'm going to, this is great. I never sold that many albums again. <laughs> ever. I, I must have had such verve because it was brand new. I must have done such a sales pitch because I, ne I never, I'd sold two or one. And, and that you, first night I sold 15. I was like, well, I'm going to be fucking rich. Never happened again. And no. you can still buy his knickknacks on jokeland.com. Thank you very much. Wow. For coming wow. in Kenny. Uh, uh, I'll tell you a claim to fame, fun. Norton. I, I worked at Pips, had a great weekend, I thought. It's, it's, uh, 
Brooklyn, and I'm coming from Oyster Bay, so it was a six-beer ride. <laughs> so I was fried by the time I got there. Forget by the end of the second show, I never got asked back. And like ten years later, I meet uh, Freddie, what's his name, Freddie, uh, Freddie Stoller, and he goes, oh, it's nice to meet you. God, I always wanted to meet the guy that got banned from Pips for drinking too much. <laughs> the place is fucking Coke and heroin, and now everybody's <laughs> out of their mind. And I was banned because I got because I was uh, too big a drinker. I, what a, I, I wish they had that's, told me. What a, what, a, what a badge of honor. Yeah. You know, how drunk do you have to be to get banned from, from Pips? Pips? Yeah, they used know? Otto for years, and oh, Otto was known to party. Oh, and oh, fucking yeah. Rodney yeah. came from Pips, and Rodney I mean, was a fucking party. And I'd rather have him say that than say I wasn't funny. You know, I maybe I was drunk did. and not funny. Funny, you know. Yeah, yeah, really. We loved Rodney too, man. We got to have him on the show near the end there. But growing up watching, yeah. we never realized he was a partier. Oh yeah, we yeah. Had Rodney. He, I would have loved. Well, yeah, I was on the road with him. I was on the oh, road with him great. for a week. Well, actually, two weeks, and I'm still not only telling stories, but sometimes when I'm telling the stories, those two weeks, a new one. So much happened in two weeks because every time he opened his mouth, it was funny. Yeah, he was a partier. You, you want to hear the funniest thing I ever heard him say? He he did a show. And, you know, blew the house away in at the Aladdin, and he comes off, and he goes, oh, I'm, come on, you know, I'm so depressed. I'm like, I said, no, wait a minute. How could you blow a room away in Las Vegas? They loved you. You destroyed them for an hour. How could you be depressed? He goes, it's like eating a broad. You know what's in it for me? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. I never got used to that. <laughs> it's like eating a broad. What good, what good is it for me? <laughs> is that the greatest? I mean, it's, right. And he probably meant it, too. No, <laughs> there was no irony, no humor. Uh, no, he was talking uh, fact. Uh, wow. that, that's why I think he was so great in Natural Born Killers. Because everybody got this silly side, then you got to see that's that fucking oh, crazy that dark. Yeah. yeah, he was a natural born killer. Yeah, oh, he, yeah was he, was. he was the father. He was the father. Rodney yeah. was the father. He was oh, yeah. Mallory's father. Wow, and the right. sitcom. The abusive father. Yeah. Yeah, go up and take a bath for daddy. It was just. Yeah. A, yeah. You know what? When I was with him, he had just he had just filmed Caddyshack. Because in the middle of the Las Vegas Jesus. run, he had to run to uh, Los Angeles do the reaction shots. And then I said to him years later, I said, Jesus Christ. Caddyshack, you know, it looked like you guys snorted coke before every <laughs> before every take. He says, you know why? Because we snorted coke before every take. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> you know the funniest thing you ever say? You know, it, it's the it's the fact that it's not funny and he's just talking that made him so. When I first went away with him, when I went to meet him in his apartment, I said, listen. You just have to know, I'm going to laugh every time you open your mouth, and I'm not sucking your cock. I j <laughs> you are, uh, you have always been my hero. I didn't say all this to him, yeah. but he's always been my hero, and and he's funny. That voice is, mm -hmm. it's just fucking funny. And we're in Fort Lauderdale at Easter time, and we're walking along. Now, you know what the beach is like in Fort Lauderdale at Easter time. And he wasn't that crazy, crazy famous yet. He was just... He had just started doing the Miller Beer commercials. He's like, Jesus Christ, All I've been right. doing this shit for so long, and now the whole fucking world knows who I am from those stupid commercials. Because you get so much more exposure. It's not Johnny Carson once every four months. Yeah. It's yeah. Right? Yeah, sure. But they hadn't really started to hit that much yet. And we're walking along, and there's all these beautiful girls. <laughs> he actually <laughs> said out loud. He turned to me and goes... Don't you wish you could just fuck anybody you wanted? <laughs> I said, yes, but I never thought that was necessary to say it out loud. You know, don't you wish you could just fuck anybody you want? <laughs> yeah, he, he fucking, Rodney's a weird case because he made it like, he's a guy doing comedy for all these years and then he drops out and he goes back to his gig and comes back and makes it when he's older. I mean, at least he came back. It, was a, it was a classic. classic where, where did he story. jump out? What, what did he he, I think he wasn't making it. He, he wasn't did, doing well and he had a wife and two kids that he had to support. What, what, what he hit in the 40s. Right? Aluminum he siding. He, yeah, he sold aluminum siding for 12 Jesus. years Jesus. in Jersey. When, when did he come back? He, he, he came back when he was like 49 or something? He came back oh, when he was like 40s. 40. Oh, 40. Okay, he, from okay. 28 to 40, he was out. But you know who reinserted him into show business? And it, it, of all the bullshit you've ever heard, King Broder. Is the guy who reins? Do you know King Broder? I know the name. Uh, he, he's the guy. He's the guy who sued Eddie Murphy. He's because he signed up all the comedians. You know, you bet on every horse in the race, and right. Eddie Murphy. You know, right? And he earned it. But he took Rodney around, and you know, and Rodney actually put it in his book. 
You know, and, and it's like, and he jumped back in, and he used to say, you know, I got, I got, I got Sullivan before I had no respect, you know. <laughs> was he, wait, was he still, uh, before, did he do Sullivan before he dropped out, or, or uh, after he came back? I think, I think when he got back, I don't think he did Sullivan before he, before he dropped out, but he didn't have, uh, I get no respect immediately. I heard he got that from, uh, I think from, from George. Georgia Pips, right? Yeah. The, the story with that was that Georgie Starr, who was George from Pips, um, I guess had a whole thing in his act. He had a, an act, and he was an, an Italian, and it was he insisted on respect. He wanted respect. He, he, you got to respect me, and I think Rodney flipped that and said, you know, and he liked the respect angle. So it, it was one of those gray areas, mm -hmm. you know. Did, did you who took what, or did he? Did, did he, was it fine? And you guys deal with that gray area a lot. Oh, there's so much. Yeah, because that's all there is, you know. And there's <laughs> nothing new, you know. I. Yeah. I don't make any bones. I tell old jokes. People, you know, people say, "Hey, do you write these?" I say, "I write the lines, and I'm as funny." You know, I, I for 15 years, Howard was reading stuff off the paper that he didn't pre-read. It's coming out of my head <laughs> into his mouth, I, well, you and know, that's not old jokes. That's as fresh as it could fucking be. But I, but I tell old jokes, and they're from everywhere. And for a long time, people didn't know that Howard was reading your stuff. And who cares? Uh, uh, well, you know, you know. Well, I didn't care. Uh, uh, well, my whole thing was just pay me. Well, I just want to get paid. Pay I don't want somebody to say, "Hey, you know." I, think, I, I mean, that's that's nice of you, but I think most people would care. Like, you know, that. Well, it's like Carson's writers. You know, he's not going to uh, tell a joke. Right, right. Hey, Eddie Smith sent gave me that. You know, who gives a fuck? People, people finally start realizing, which I think, I, I, all I'm saying is, it must have felt good when people finally start realizing. Oh my God, Jackie's uh, feeding a lot of the stuff when the TV show hit, and then you could see you in the corner like doing. Your thing. Let me tell you. I'm not trying to like. No, no. You, it, it, I'm just trying. It, this know. is all old stuff. But okay. In the very beginning, nobody knew Robin was black. I mean, it was so funny. <laughs> People used to come and say, "I heard Robin is black." Is that true? I mean, this is way in the beginning. Oh yeah. Way but what? Yeah. I start. I worked for him for free for three years, and slowly but surely, Sorry, I started Jimmy. handing him little pieces of snippets of paper and stuff. And just one day a week, you know, coming in, and I loved it because I was getting promoted. You know. They, somebody on nbc am telling the world where i'm gonna be i yeah. mean that, that's invaluable and uh i used to go on once a week and bring comedians with me and there was so many comedians that say hey what's a pay i'm not coming and to this day uh, they're like i can't believe dummies, I said, no, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so so i'm we go to mornings and and he says i want you to do your thing with the notes so i'm passing notes and nobody knows it and i don't know whether it'd been a month a year, whatever it'd been but nobody really knows. It's it's not that we're hiding it. It's just kind of like a thing that you know. Nobody ever said, "Hey, Robin's black." It's like you know, it, you know. <laughs> right. So everyone was is, cool with it. I so. think this is the yeah. fun, most fun story. So Robin says, "Oh yeah, there, there's an oldies uh, quiz." And the people from Congress really had a tough time with the oldies quiz because they didn't know the answers. And people thought that the congressmen would know more about the United States. And, blah, 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 blah. and Howard said, "Well, Robin, give me give me the rock and roll quiz." So, of course, you know, we're all sitting there, and she starts asking him questions. And as he's asking, you know, we're cheating and giving him the answers. They know, I know all these, you know, I was a musician, blah, blah, blah. And so she goes, what are some of the hits by Gary U.S. Bonds? Now, I, I, you guys probably aren't old enough, but Gary U.S. Bonds, who ironically has become a very good friend of mine, had a huge hit in the 60s called Quarter to Three. Don't you know that I dance? I dance till quarter to three. Da, 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 my mama and daddy G. You know, it's a classic dance song. <laughs> so she goes, what are the, some of the songs by, by, what are some of the songs know, by, by Gary U.S. Bonds? And I wrote in digital two colon 45 <laughs> <laughs> and put it up. That's and how it goes. 245 <laughs> and Fred, I got it on tape. You got to hear it. Fred, no, no. <laughs> and we start screaming. Robin's screaming. I'm screaming. We're laughing. And Howard's like, what's going on? Because he had no fucking idea. What's going on with him? And she goes, and Fred goes, it's quarter to three. And he goes, you jerk. He says, if you're going to cheat, at least. And I'm, in my mind, I was like, now the whole world knows that I'm writing. Right, right, right. Yeah. Nobody had any idea. Nobody, <laughs> nobody put it together. They you know, thought it just a, being funny. Really, is that a classic? That's that's is a that classic? classic? Band, man. Yeah. <laughs> String of Pelopides. Right, 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 right. Wow. I did not mean to come in here and hijack the show. Good, please. Right. Right. We were yeah, honestly, were you, we were you having kind of a were you listening uh, to the show today, before so. you got here? <laughs> yeah. You should come in at nine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't listen to this shit. March twelfth and thirteenth, New York Comedy Club in Boca Raton, and Morell's on. 
Monday. I got to call Sid. Ro you know Sid Rosenberg? I yeah, gotta, I got to yes. call him today. I used to love that guy. He's a great character. I got to call him because he's, he's in Miami and he's going to. He's help the only me guy promote. that has blown up more spots than me and Ed. So <laughs> that's yeah. why we love the guy. <laughs> I, I never. I actually never. March twelve and thirteen in Florida. I would actually go to that, but I'll be in Chicago. Yeah, I know. In, uh, nice. At Zany's, two different places. See, yeah, I like to. Same. I like to whore my plugs too. I just fucking chop them whenever I can. You, you got it. You work at, at the Well Street. No, I do one night in Vernon, Vernon Hills and one night in. Uh, yeah, well Street is too small of a club for Jim. Oh, that is oh, in Chicago. What's the other wow. one? Vernon Hills and Kenny. And, that was uh, a nice St. Charles. No, it's only hundred seats. It's yeah. just. Uh, yeah. I love. I love. So Gordon, I've, I've done that room. I, I used to love going on a Thursday and doing a show there. It's a fucking great club. You know now. You know that used to be a whorehouse. No. You know? Oh, that's a great. It was a whorehouse, and they kept getting busted. So Rick made it a bookstore, a dirty bookstore with, I guess, a rub and tug in the back. Right. But Rick got so tired of jumping out the window when the cops came <laughs> that he made it into a comedy club. Man, fuck this. Nobody knows that. Wow. Now, have you ever gone upstairs in Zany's? It, 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 I don't know what it's like now, but upstairs, the walls are velvet. It was a whorehouse. Oh, Rick, you, it's a pisser, man. I've been upstairs. Me and Larry Reeves right? had hookers up there. I gave the hookers uh, Stump the Joke Man t-shirts. I always wanted to go back to Chicago and be walking down the street and see a hooker in the Stump the Joke Man shirt. I would have died and went to heaven. You, you know? gave me one. I worked at you one time many years ago. It was just one show in a theater. And everybody's like, ah, you know, he's not going to let you curse. And you were very nice to me. All you said was, look, just do me for it. Don't say cunt. And then you, and I went out and had a good show. And then you threw me your shirt. It was like the mean yeah, girl green. You know, I used to, I tell people... You know, I I tell the bookers I don't I never want to tell a comedian what yeah. to do ever. But I tell the bookers don't put somebody dirty in front of me any more than you'd put two ventriloquists on the yep. same bill. You know, or fart fart cunt cunt fart fart shit shit. <laughs> now here's Jackie. It makes no sense. I you know agree. that was the whole idea. You know, I like women in front of me. I like a, a woman who's funny. Oh, open yeah, yeah, totally yeah, I, I never <laughs> like it when they well, say, "Oh, this is going to be a dirty like, show." Yeah. It's yeah. like by the time yeah. I come on, if there's been five dirty comics before me, I'm like, absolutely. I actually got pulled off shows two weeks ago. I was opening for this comic and he didn't want me, so he yanked what? me up the In show. In the middle really? of the shows? Who was I, it? I did one night. Well, who's the comic? Danny Boy. Danny Boy. I'll tell you Because you were Danny too Boy. funny? No, because Danny Boy is better looking than him. Ah, no, 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 actually, no, you're better looking than Danny Boy. Danny Boy's whole thing is that he's good looking. No. And you just top trumped the little fuck. Ah. Ah. He was sucking wind the whole time go after any Google the fuck. It, supposedly I uh, was too edgy of a comic. Really? But we know what that means. No, he's. Uh, he's fucking Jeffries is digging you, man. No, I. T no, no, no. <laughs> he's no, no, you. no, Google him. I'm telling you. Just Google, 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 Google it. Google it. Danny Boy, man. He's this good looking Scottish lad, and he's half Indian, and so he's just. Uh, and I. Yeah. Stop. Stop. I'm getting a hard on Sounds dishy. Listen, listen, we got a. Ron and Fez are next. We got to get out of here for them. Guys. Thank you so much for inviting me in. This yeah, is a problem, pleasure Jackie. to talk to you, you too, course, man. Of course. This and what a delight to see you, you big fucking idiot. Long time, <laughs> long time coming, Jackie. You got to do this again with and us. You, oh, and we won't you lose about... my phone number, you piece of yeah. shit? You know, what am I? I do have your number. Okay. 516 And, and now that I know that it goes to my <laughs> yeah, brother's exactly. restaurant. 9463. What? I took the. I, I'm working in Dix Hills on April 23rd. I bring the whole crowd from Dix Hills to your brother's all restaurant. All right, I'll, all right, I'll give you an appetizer. And the a, least they could do is keep. You won't even keep the kitchen open. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ. What's his name? Bob? Bill? Uh, Brett. He's not Brett. like that usually. He must I'm have something I'm making it up. On. I don't remember. Oh, okay. I don't even know if I ever met him. <laughs> and I got $500 to give away. I feel like we should give it to Jack. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, that's not the worst idea I ever heard. <laughs> Uh, what do we do with this? Fuse meetings, five hundred dollars. Can I give it to him? I guess he's an employee, so maybe that wouldn't yeah. be can good. We, can we get You're the technically bogos, an employee, Jack. You suck. All right, five hundred dollars from uh, FuseMeeting dot com. We'll give to a random caller right now. Do we have to read that? Brought to you by Fuse Meeting. Hold hassle-free meetings online for a free account. Visit us at FuseMeeting dot com slash op. It's uh, Fuse with a Z. Hold on, let me get my cell phone out so I can call. <laughs> Fuse Meeting dot com slash op op i e. Must be at least eighteen years old and a listener or a subscriber. And enter blah blah blah. Not open to residents of Alaska, Hawaii, or what? Canada. Or Jackie the Joke Great. Man. Ow! So we'll give that to a random caller. Jackie, this was awesome. Anytime. Now I know what it's like behind the curtain. Yeah. yeah.
Nice. It's a pleasure to meet you, characters. And we'll uh, we'll do it again. And and Jim Jeffries, Caroline's this weekend. Oh, You're the only one at Caroline. Yes. It was all great except for Norton saying that Zany's too small for him. I, 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 I don't need yeah, this. Yeah, no, yeah. That was Kenny's Kenny's excuse for me because they won't put me in the Chicago role. They think I'm more of a suburban actor. That was the they bit don't trust me in the city. That was the Tell bit that Bert upset you, not the retard hello. being dragged out by his arm. That wasn't. <laughs> we all yeah. forgot about that. God, that seems like so long ago. That was, <laughs> I, and I didn't even really see it. The door was kind of open. I just. I saw a little, like a leg go Did by. Did that scare you, know? you? You seemed a little... I'm, you seen it all though, Jack. Yeah, that, it was just, no, it was just hysterical. Right, it was hysterical. I, he, they, he was dragged. He was on the floor oh, being he dragged. Was. Here's Bobo. Right. Right. He's, he's back. Right. See, he's okay. See. Hey, Bobo. Bobo's Bobo. 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 okay. Bobo. Bobo's all right. We got some handshake. I'm glad you didn't hurt me. I'm sorry about that. I'm a little bit drunk from that bit. Ah, that's ah well. Jackie understands how that is. Yeah. Well, well, oh, well, oh, oh. He's talking, <laughs> nobody's listening. No, no, no that's all Thank you guys. Though. All right, Jackie the Joker Man and Colin King, great first appearance on the opening Anthony show. We'll uh, see yes. Colin again as well. Thanks for having and us. And he's uh, helping out Jim uh, Jeffries and Caroline's too, so. The very he's actually, he's actually carrying most of the show, to be honest with you. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was drunk the whole nah, time. you were great. <laughs> all right, guys, have a great weekend. Bye. We'll see you Monday. Later.